Hey, hey, y'all, listen, welcome in the building. Come on through. It's Friday. It's Friday and it's 10. Look it. I got to get stuff off of me, okay? It's trending topics. Uh huh. And we're doing the Real Housewives of Potomac reunion look. That's what we're doing tonight the reunion looks. And Karen Hugan's drunken car crash. Dr. Grandon, I was shocked. And honey, the more they talk about, the more updates we get. The latest update is the car caught on fire and they had to drag her drunken behind out of the car to save her life. Yeah, they did. You know, all of these reality shows, they're turning to get really, really dark. Really dark. And the fighting that happens off screen is worse than anything we can ever see on the screen. So Mia's around town flaunting her new man and she don't even have divorce papers yet. It's no divorce papers. And she got her new man on Instagram talking about my new man and G, they get along. G is broken, but you know what though? He signed up for the shenanigans. When somebody signs up for something, you can feel sorry for them, but you can't be that mad because that's what they signed up for. You know, when you do people dirty, eventually the dirt's going to come back to you. You a fool if you think it's never going to swing back your way. That's why I try my best. Nobody's perfect. But I try my best to be good and do right. I don't need no drama coming back my way. No, I do not. Uh-huh. You do dirt, it's going to come back to you. You want to sleep with somebody else's husband one day, somebody going to sleep with yours. Come on now, it's just, it is what it is. You want to cheat on your man, cheat on your lady? You're going to get cheated on one day too. It's going to hurt you to the core. It's going to break you. Cheat and thou shall be cheated on. Yes, the universal law is just going to happen. You're going to get what's coming to you one way or the other. And these home records, they see at the end of the day, it really don't pay. They think they winning until they're not. You know that, what's that name? A uh, 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 Neo, Neo the uh, uh, R&B singer. He did Moyetta dirty. Then he got with the other chick. They got married. She thought she was the one. Next thing you know, she said the whole eight years they was married, she was cheated on. If you meet a cheater, if you meet a cheater, guess what? I'm not psychic, but I can bet you 9.9 times out of 10, you won't get cheated on. It's in his DNA. It's who he is. But they always think they're better than the one before. Then they wake up and find out, oh, I see what that chick was dealing with. Oh, I see what she meant. But then you want to save face and you stay in the situation. But your time has come. You do dirt, dirt is going to come back on you. So we're here to do the reunion looks. And we know the seating arrangement. First seat is Karen and the other side is Mia. Uh-huh. Slide on down, Giselle. Slide on down. What does it feel like not being in that first seat? You know, they act like they don't care about that seat, but they really do. Everybody wants it, but everybody doesn't deserve it. Not at all. 
So we're going to look, and you know, they got my favorite color going on this year, black. You can't go wrong when you wear black. You cannot. So we're going to talk about these looks and see how we feel about them. And I can tell you up front, uh, Giselle probably looked the best she ever looked since she started the show at the reunion. And to Giselle, you know, my condolences. We know your father has gone on to be with Glory. So my condolences. Karen almost uh, took her own self out of here. Now, we heard before that Karen had an issue with the bottle and the drinking. And this is a serious thing. First, it was the girl from, what it, was it, Orange County? What was her name? Shannon Bador. Driving drunk, crashed up into the people home, hit stuff, didn't know what she was doing, was disoriented, all of that. Tiffany Haddish. At least Tiffany Haddish was always caught before she turned. The angels were really looking over Tiffany Haddish. Because each time she was caught in her car, she was just slumped over drunk, stopped at a stoplight. They knocked on the window. They see the home. Yeah. She lucked up. She never actually got to drive like too far. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she blaming. You know, it's the blaming the mothers from, yeah, come on, Raheem. She blaming, you know, I, it was, I was in an emotional state. Girl, bye. You was driving that car at top speed. Then they said she had a suspended registration or whatever the case may be. This is Karen's second DUI. She almost took herself out of here this time, though. Her mother was watching over her for real. And I love the grand I'm going to need her to wake up and go to rehab. Because she got it bad. So we're going to talk about it. So listen, guys, I need to bring the people on in the building because it's Friday night and we're doing reunion looks, okay? Gonna check it out, the looks and the thing, and see how we feel about it. Did y'all see the trailer? You know, I don't know how I really feel about these reality shows and how much longer I'm gonna be watching. Because Mia's on this TV and she's announcing that, you know, G or Andy answered the question, whatever, it had to be put out there. That G feels like their son is not, he's not the father. Now we need Maury Povich. We need some DNA tests. Now he's not the father. He don't think he's the father. To me, the little girl and the boy, they look alike and they look like G and Mia a, a good mix. But G's feeling like he's not the father. So G, you left your other wife to get with Mia so you could be insecure the whole relationship. Y'all make that make sense. Does that make sense to you? You leave one wife to get with somebody else and the whole time you're not feeling any security. You spent 11 years like that? Does that make sense to y'all? I, you know, just stupid. I, I don't get it. I don't understand it. It just doesn't make any sense. And Mia said, you know, this was a, a, a boyfriend from high school and they got back together and him and G get along. No, G is tolerating it because, you know, that's what he got to do at 71. 71, broke. No retirement fund. No 401k. No business. Your family done kicked you out. I don't know if the family is speaking to him. You got nothing. And the ex-wife probably sitting back like, hey, hey. <laughs> you, you left her and, and, and now look at you. I bet you wish you could ring her doorbell. I don't know where she at. Come on now, Mo. Woo, woo, woo. Woo, woo, woo. You left her. Look now. Mia done left you and got you saying hi to the other boyfriend. How disrespectful at the reunion for you to be speaking to your man and then tell me to say hello. That's why I couldn't do no reality show. They would have a show for real, for real. I mean, I get that phone out my face. Saying hi to him. Get out of here. But that's why I ain't on that reality TV. 
Because sometimes I can control it and then other times I lose it. I'm still a work in progress. And every day I try my best. That's all we can do. But I already know the cameras was up in my face. No, get out of here because I'm about to give you a show. Saying hi to his, his new girlfriend. No, get out. No. We ain't even divorced yet. Being messy. Listen, guys, I need to board this train. It's Friday night. What we doing? Can I get a what? I need a choo-choo. All aboard, everybody. It's Friday night, and we're doing the Real Housewives of Potomac reunion looks, okay? It's time to see how the girls hold it together. We also got to talk about Karen. She was driving that Maserati. She allegedly was under the influence. She bumped into signs, trees, all kind of stuff. They said the car caught on fire. The fire department had to drag Karen out of that car. Oh, she got angels looking over her. Her mother said, not yet. Don't bring my baby here yet. Karen, you better be thanking your mama. And you need to go to rehab. I'm ordering it right now. Bravo, Andy Cohen, True, Truly Entertainment, all of them. They need to order Karen to go to rehab or don't come back to the Real Housewives of Potomac because this is not what we want to portray on this TV. And while you at it, bring Sharon Bador with you. While you at it, go pick up Tiffany Haddish on the way. We need to get the sober people in the building. Let me unload this train up, y'all. Come on now. We about to do this thing right here. Hold on one second. Hey, in my opinion. Hey, Diva. Choo-choo. Choo-choo. Hey, Savannah. Sebastian hey, E. Hey, Emmanuel. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, Katrina, Shannon, Tay-Tay. Come on, we in the building, y'all. Happy choo-choo-choo. Come on now. Choo-choo. So, you know, we're going to get right into these reunion looks. Because the reunion um, is not this weekend. It's going to be the next one, right? Because I think they got one more episode. But a mm -hmm. whole lot been going on in the streets with this thing. You know, the, 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 Ashley not talking to Deborah, her, 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 one of the pretty young things, I think they call themselves. It's a mess. <laughs> it's a hot mess. Let me share this screen. Let me see. Where do I have these looks at? Hey, we about to get into this. Hold on now. We're not first up, though. All right, that's Giselle. You know, this is the nicest we've seen Giselle at any reunion ever. You can't go wrong with black. That's for sure. Um, I like the hair. I like the face. Um, I like it. I think Giselle did a good job. Trying to see if I could zoom this in for y'all somewhat. Don't say nothing, Sebastian. You know I'm challenged, so don't say a word. Okay. But I'm going to look for, um, I'm going to look to see her Instagram to see if, you know, she um, did got a little closer up there. But, you know, overall, if I had to rate Giselle on this look, and I'm going to do it in comparison to how Giselle has always looked at all the other reunions. You know what I'm going to give Giselle? I'm going to give Giselle a 10. I really am. I'm going to give it up for Giselle. I'm going to give her a 10 because she's never looked better, in my opinion. So I'm going to go ahead and give Giselle a 10. Y'all can rate Giselle while you're in the comments there, and I'm going to go around um, to the people, the hair is simple and clean. She didn't overdo it with the jewelry. She's giving us leg. I like it. The split is not too high, but it's high enough. I'm not confused about the dress. I'm liking it, Giselle. I'm liking it. So let me go ahead. Who am I going to go to here? Um, let me see. Where, um, in my opinion, your thoughts on Giselle? She does basic well. Okay, oh, this sweet. is basic. Um, I will give her a seven. Okay. Best you ever done, Giselle. Stick to the basics. Oh my god, not basic. <laughs> so 
Savannah. Sebastian, stop. <laughs> Diva, he's making fun of you in the comments. Um, <laughs> I, I actually uh, love, love this on Giselle. Um, it is one of the, the, her better looks in the reunion. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to give her a strong nine. So I, I really um, like this uh, on Giselle, especially given the last year's look. So I'm going to give her a nine on this one. Yes. Okay. We got a, a 10 and a nine. Come on now. I like it. Um, Sebastian, what are your thoughts? Giselle, Giselle Bryant, the first lady, no. the former first lady. I'm honestly shocked when I when, when I Not saw the whole thing. Matt Shane said four point five. She said negative four point five. Um, <laughs> when I'm honestly shocked, I'm honestly shocked mm -hmm. when I saw this on Instagram when it first came out. I, I saw that Giselle was wearing like this. I was like, oh, okay. And you know, me and Diva have been connecting for a while. We have. Yeah. And I'm gonna give her. I'm gonna give her a ten. Come, come on now, Sebastian. Come on now. He deserves uh, a 10. This showed she put a lot of effort, even though it was basic or simple. Yeah. She, the effort was there. The yeah. effort was there. Come she's going to get a 10. She's going to get a 10. Give her a 10. Come on now. I like it. I the like effort it. was there. You could have found that dress at Rose, JC Penney. Okay. Right. And then it's for But for Giselle, y'all, y'all got to give it up. Y'all got to give it up. For based on the post. no 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 we can't do for this is a reunion look diva we can't do because she been uh, she ain't been towed down all the rest of the reunion we can't give her props like this we we dress we doing the dresses alone right okay I want to say this the whole look the whole look the whole look exactly that's what's happening it's everything is basic I want to say this even the makeup basic I want to say this real quickly yeah so I'm from my point of the 10 it right, is multiple right. things that are in fact i have multiple factors in place in this the history of her dresses um the timing of the reunion uh-huh uh-huh um her kids are leaving her yeah come on now um, come on give some give some background on this thing she yeah. considered a lot she considered a lot she thought a lot and you know she, she lost her father yeah. and everything so she she thought a lot and she wore something that is simple, yes, but elegant, yes, and people need to acknowledge that. Yeah, sometimes simple mm -hmm. speaks louder than too much. Come on now, yes, I appreciate that. Um, thank you so much. That's why it should be a nine and not a, a ten. Mm -hmm. All right, come on now. That that was Sebastian gave it a ten. We're gonna leave him alone now. E, you're up. Sorry, I could not find the mute. Um, to me, Giselle looked like she was going to new birth, like to an evening gala, like she was going to sell white only pies to help raise the coins for the building fund. Yes, the dress is flattering to her figure. I'll give her that. Mm -hmm. Um, the necklace looked just like her, and her hair was cute and simple. It wasn't an outfit. I would wear to a housewives reunion because it's too matchy. Uh, mm -hmm. between that shoulder strap, the thin one, uh, the necklace and the shoes, it's it's too matchy, and I really don't like that thicker side of that dress sleeve. It's not high fashion. It's not a standout for a housewives reunion. Mm -hmm. But Giselle is not a wife, let alone a housewife. Oh so God. I can understand the outfit is out of place because Giselle is out of place. Um, but. It's basic. Um, I really don't like that pink toenail polish. But, I mean, overall, it'll get the job done. I'll give it a 5.5. Whoo! The dress is for Sashi. The shoes are for Sashi. Come on, E. Choo-choo! The jewelry is for Sashi. This shoes don't... hair makeup done. The, this look is my wife inspired. Giselle yes. said of her style while speaking with BravoTV.com backstage, referencing the recent fashion trend, making waves across the Bravo sphere. I just thought I might move into my inner Jersey girl and become a mob wife. Those aesthetics flourishes when were seen in Giselle's gorgeous gold touches via her accessories and heels. Diva. Yeah. 
if I go down to uh, uh, Paula Dean's farm uh -huh. and, and get one of the pigs and put Versace on it, it's still a pig. It's just wearing Versace. That doesn't make it high. That doesn't make it high fashion. And that doesn't make it tens across the board. I appreciate you, E. No problem. Emmanuel, you're up. Okay. I love this look. I thought it was elegant. It was clean. And it was nice. Yes. Not doing too much, not doing too little, just right. I love the, the how gold and black, when they come together, she's very much giving first lady energy. Mm -hmm. I like the figure, and I saw the trailer when she was sitting down. It looked good as well. The makeup looks nice. I like some good old Versace. So I'm going to give this a 10. Come on now. Come on now. We're just throwing out the 10s. 10 That's out of 10. Cute. 10 out of 10. Come on now, Emmanuel. All right, Katrina, you're up. Are you there, Katrina? All right, we got to skip Katrina. Um, Shan, you're up. Okay, I was totally in the comments when I said negative 4.5. Okay, listen. For Giselle, this is okay. Mm -hmm. Very basic, boring, and bland. Oh my but God. that's Giselle. So what else can you expect? I like her hair and I like her makeup. I hate the dress. It's giving me JC Penny's. I'm going to a fundraiser. And listen, I used to love JC Penny. Okay, I used to get excited when my mom took me there. So nothing against JC Penny, but that's what the dress is giving me. Very basic. This is a reunion. I want to see some looks. Okay. I want to see some fashions. This is getting, I'm with E. I'm going to give it a five only because, like y'all been saying, this is the best she's looked. So that's the only reason. But I hate the dress. I hate everything except the makeup on her hair. So a five. I appreciate you, Shan. I'm Katrina, you're up. I thought I saw Katrina come off mute earlier. Okay. Um, the dress so basic it called Katrina Mouth. Tay-Tay, uh, 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 <laughs> you're up. Well, I like the hair and the makeup on her. But this dress right here, I'll give like a 5.1. That's all diva. Y'all be a messy. Y'all be messy. Um, Katrina, last call. All right. I think Katrina might be having technical difficulties. All right. So, all right. So, Giselle, we tried. Okay. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Katrina might be back. Katrina, you're up. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. I'm You hear, but we can't hear you. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. Yes, we can hear you, Diva. Okay, yeah, I don't know, we can hear okay, you. I don't know what's going on with Katrina. She'll come back. All right. So let's continue on. Giselle, I tried. You know, some of us gave you a 10. Um, keep score, um, Emmanuel, if you can. Yes, I am. Okay, beautiful. But, you know, Giselle, I think you look good. And that's all I got to say. And I'm going to move on. Katrina, last call. Giselle? Can you, hear, can you hear me now? Yes, we can. Okay. Um, I give her... <laughs> Y'all going to think I'm crazy. I'm going to give her an eight. Uh -huh. Kyle must went to uh, beauty school or something because it's the best her hair I ever looked at a reunion. We're going to get your ass shit, Katrina. I know, I'm just, no, I'm serious. This is the best she's ever looked. Yes, it I is. you not. She but like, had, that, that blue she had on last year was horrendous. She looked like she was wearing a, a, a sofa cover. Mm -hmm. Um, that gold she had on, she looked like she was a washed up trophy. Uh, the yellow, she looked like a, a, a ostrich. This is the best this lady ever looked at a reunion. I'm just gonna give her that simply because the reason is, uh, I've never seen her look this good at a reunion, even though it's basic. It's basic, but I gotta get to her. I gotta get to her. Give it I up. I'm give her an eight. I gotta give her an eight. Almost a nine. Eight, a, a nine. I got a nine. Y'all, I'm biting my tongue. I'm biting my tongue. Up is one more. Just go ahead and say ten. 
I'm going to do it for your birthday, Diva. I give her a 10. No badger in the, the panel. No, yeah, no. Y'all cheat. <laughs> y'all, we supposed to be rating the looks, not rating the looks. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I demand, no, I demand a raise. I, I demand, demand a raise. Okay, okay. But look at okay, her. Katrina, I have never Katrina. seen Giselle look this good at a reunion. Katrina, we could judge her. But that's not that's not what we judging, Katrina. We're not judging how good she looked at all the reunions. We said this dress. Like this one. She's she I mean, she looked good. Right right her. Her. Do Wait, so what's your final answer, Katrina? I gotta give I give her 10. Okay. Don't don't listen, don't tell me I'm taking that train. I'm a, I'm, I gotta get a later 10. I got to. I mean, she look good right here. I can't lie. I'm not gonna lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. All right, she look good. I ain't gonna lie. That's your gel. And uh, Emmanuel is keeping track. All right, we're going to move on. See you later, Giselle. We got Ashley Darby. Um, this She got body. She got body. Them legs are in tip-top shape. Um, the hair is a no for me. The gloves is a no for me. The dress that has several different personalities is a no for me. But maybe if her hair was different, I could feel a little bit better. Because Ashley has body for days. And those legs is how I'm inspiring my legs to look like. I'm going to give Ashley... The shoes are nice. Looks like she got a nice pedicure. But everything else is a home miss for me. Let's see who, who, who helped her out here. So the dressing gloves are by some Riley Knox. Oh, that whoever, was my stylist. Whoever did her, Corey did her hair, he messed up. Priscilla did her makeup. Well, we can't really get an idea how beautiful the makeup is because the hair is a whole mess. The dress was inspired by the famous yet controversial painting Madame X by John Singer. Ashley shared with blogotv.com while getting ready, reading a statement from the dress designer, Riley Knox. It took over 300 hours and is completely handmade and adorned with over 1,000 black diamond Swarovski crystals. It's giving Ashley at it. Um, whoo, they spent a lot of time on this. And maybe the added piece in the back, this is a no for me. And I'm sorry, Ashley, I'm going to give this a two. And maybe I'll up it to a three because you showing your gorgeous legs and that's it. So I up it to a three. I'm going to be nice, but this is a no for me. Um, in my opinion. She looks like the magician assistant. <laughs> you <laughs> you, know, the, you know when the magician assistants come out and they have on them little cakes and, the, and then they have on like them bathing suits? Yes. The magician assistant. Oh my gosh. I feel so sorry for her. Her hair looked like it's from the 1950s. I just I tried. I tried, Diva. And I was like, maybe if I see it move, it was even worse when it was moving. Oh my gosh. I'm going to give it a two. Ooh, child, not the um, magician's assistant. Savannah, you're up. Ashley, for being such a beautiful woman, just can do cheap so well. I think the best she's ever looked at a, a reunion was when she was pregnant, and that's because she she was covered. And ever since then, she's just, it, it just looks horrible. I thought of Cirque du Soleil when I saw this and, and I'm going to give her a three and that's because her legs are just just Ooh. giving leg, just leg. I, I'm just loving the leg. Everything else is, is horrible. I mean and I, I like Riley and Knox as a designer but this is a no for me from the hair to the, the makeup it's just uh, uh, awful. The gloves, I'm not getting. I, I, it looks like it could tear away. I don't. I don't know. Is it a? Maybe we need a different angle. I, I don't get it. It looks like a bad butterfly wing. I don't understand it. So I'm gonna give it a a, a very weak three. 
on it. So, um, oh, poor Ashley. Thank you, Paige. I love you. Yeah, um, yeah. This is this poor Ashley is right. Um, Sebastian, you're up. You know, I love my girl Ashley. Everyone knows I love mm -hmm. Ashley. Ashley's my favorite, but I am here to keep it real and I'm here to keep it honest. This dress was not it, Ashley. It wasn't it. Um, I think the back, if they got rid of the back, got rid of the gloves and just had the dress like that, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. perfect. Um, it would be perfect. Some people say tie up her head, hair, but she has a very big forehead. She probably doesn't want to make it look bigger. So just straighten it completely flat down and that. Um, this dress has over a couple thousand Swarovs, Swarovs, Swarovski crystals, which are very expensive. They're, they're not mm -hmm. cheap. They're very expensive. Yes, they so are. I'm going to give Ashley, and it's so hard to give it, I'm going to give her a four. Yeah, this is this is terrible. This is terrible. I appreciate you, Sebastian. Um, Emmanuel, you're up. Ooh, okay, Ashley. Um, very pretty girl, definitely one of the prettiest housewives out there. Um, but I don't like this dress at all. Um, <laughs> nothing about it. Um, the train, the dress, the gloves, the hair is okay. I don't mind it. Um, I I went to search up that painting that she was inspired by. Uh -huh. Nothing, nothing alike. Oh. Um, so yeah, definitely cheapened the entire reunion so i'm gonna give it a four as well oh yeah see it's not going too well for you ash um shan you're up <sighs> 300 wasted hours you can't get back oh you you oh you better talk <laughs> that that's really sad that's what gets me um take the gloves off you know what i think i think this will look nice on somebody who's taller mm. You know, it's like swallowing her. It's giving swallowed up, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I can take I the gloves away. Up. I've she seen her hair. Up. <laughs> Go ahead. Have you ever been swallowed up? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so let's take the gloves away. And uh, Ashley has such beautiful hair. Like, mm -hmm. her hair could have been way better. You know, I've seen her hair look a million times better. I don't like Ashley, but I'm not going to be biased because Sebastian inspired me not to be biased. But since I don't like her, but mm, I'm going to give her a negative two. We got to be honest. This is horrible. Yeah. It is horrible. It is horrible. Um, she is working. The only yeah. thing is she has a beautiful smile. Beautiful smile. Beautiful. She's, she's gorgeous, but... It, we we got to we we're right in the outfit and definitely maybe if at the very least she would have took it took those gloves off yeah um but the gloves are a huge distraction and then it's just she's too cute for this it's too much going on Giselle yeah. did too little she did too much the hair is big the gloves the long thing at the back the train yeah no uh, yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, Barbara said looks like a Western salon girl. Yeah, yeah. It's just, yeah, it's not cool. It's not good. All right, thank you, Shan. Tay Tay, you're up. Do anybody notice the paint behind her right there? Mm -hmm. Or just me? Yeah. The painting is nice. That's supposed to be Mia. Yeah. That's Mia. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> Yes, yes, no, seriously, is. that is yeah. Mia. That's the that photo is, shoot. That it's from the photo did. shoot. That is Mia. Yeah, it's oh, the wow. photo shoot. Oh. Burris Pam Greer. Oh. Oh. I'm going to get this dress a uh, uh, minus 2.2 .2 right here. Yes, my VIP sister, Tay Tay. I'll get, I'll get the makeup of my team right there, but take the glove off. Matter of fact, to cover the whole, uh, cover her whole leg right there, and that shoes right there. Uh, I'll get that shoe like one point one right there. That's all. Thank you, Tay Tay. I appreciate you. Um, Katrina, you're up. Absolutely, like <laughs> heavily. 
Hella Locklear coming to marry the vampire. She, that dress looked this that is awful. She looked like she's getting ready to marry. Get ready to marry uh Count Dracula. Uh, I'm gonna give it a one. That's it. I appreciate you. Um <laughs> you're up. Um, I keep hearing people say Ashley is so gorgeous. Please. Ashley is no cuter than anybody else. She's regular, and this is a regular look. Um, I mean, not a regular look. This is a regular fail, is what I mean to say. Ashley would have fared much better in a classic black velour jumpsuit with some some accent of white along the side or cut out, something like that. To me, this entire look looks very cheap. It's something about that wig and that ombre style. It's just, it looks almost synthetic from the picture. I thought the style of dress was very Candy Burris, Dungeon Party knockoff style. Uh, from the sheer gloves and uh, the glitter, you say Swarovski crystals, I guess, um, and the glitter all over the corset portion. It was very prom-ish with those preteen dangly earrings. I, I didn't find it flattering to her figure at all. Ashley has an inverted triangle shape. And with that corset and nothing being across the top, it made it just drew my attention to how broad her shoulders were because she had those sparkly gloves on the side and it just made you notice how narrow her hips were i thought it was highly inappropriate for her figure i i hated all of that material for the train because she had all that glitter material on the front line of the corset and once your eyes went down you see that a-line portion where the material got thin i it was just so busy so 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 busy but again once your eyes go to the feet kudos for the p diddy white toenail polish i love that that's the only thing i can say was nice about this look but the style of shoe i do have to disagree the cut of it the shoes make her feet look big. And just the entire look, when you put everything together, it gives vampire prom in the Candy Burris dungeon. I thought Ashley looked the absolute worst. I'm giving it a chop. The look is too low to score. Zero. <laughs> e, thank you. Um, Leo, you're up. Girl, somebody hit my car in the damn parking lot. God <gasps> damn. But it ain't that major that my neighbor knocked on the door and told me. That's how come I had to jump off real quick. Oh, my God. Yes, girl. Yes, yes, oh, yes. Sorry. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And pulled off. Hit the oh, car. And left. Ran. And ran. But it's okay. It's not that much damage. I can get it fixed tomorrow. You know, I know people. Oh, um, so sorry. <laughs> I tell you, if it ain't one thing, it's something else. Um... As, and I've already reviewed the look. I'm going to say this. I love the sculptured leg. The leg looks good. And that's the only thing. The hashtag leg. Come on now. <laughs> hashtag leg. I said leg, honey. Give it to the people. Yes, the hashtag leg. The leg is looking good outside mm -hmm. of everything else. The only thing she wanted to show in this dress was that leg. Yes. And the boobs. The dress the boobs. is... It is just, it's just not, it's not giving couture. It's not giving high fashion. It's, it is, it's giving, give me something to show my legs or my body or my boobs and everything else was just put together. It's, it's not a good look. It's not a good look on her. Not a good look on anybody. The split is too high. I don't understand the gloves. I don't know why she posing. She just posing to put the leg out. I don't even know why her hands on her waist. It just doesn't look good. Now, I need to see it in motion. Maybe it will look better. Maybe in motion when I see the reunion. Um, But I think, you know, she get she get good for her makeup. I don't, I'm not bothered by the hair. Um, But other than that, I, I, look, I'll give it a two or three. I'll Ooh. give it a three. For the leg, hashtag leg. Trust me, Leo, it ain't nothing amazing in motion either. Yeah. <laughs> Thank hashtag you, in my opinion. But other than that, yeah, I'm thinking like an epic fail. So let me go back. Let's go to our next person. Hold on, I got to pull it back up again. Okay, so we saw Ashley. We got Candace, who doesn't want her baby, who wants her babies to come out brown. 
Now let's see, Candace. It's looking a very similar look to Ashley without the other piece to it, right? Uh-uh. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> it is has, very similar to Ashley's. Practically mm -hmm. identical without mm -hmm. the other piece. No, ma'am. No, no, it's mm -hmm. not. You know, it's not. Now, Thank I saw you, the dress and moon. Leave a scroll up. It, it's not. <laughs> Leave a scroll up. All right, so in my opinion, you're up. I, well, I, I mean, she's another one. She's given the same leg that can, um, that Ashley is given. So I'm gonna give it because you know Candy's got a body on her too. So I'm gonna give it to her for the leg. Um, um, I don't like the hair. It's giving 1920s, like it's trying to go that type of look. Um, I'm giving Candace a, a, a two. <laughs> Diva. All right, I'll up it to a three. I, what is going no. on here? It's nothing. No, keep, it, keep it truthful. Keep it truthful, Diva. Keep it truthful. Okay, then I'm leaving it at a two. I do not like the hair. I do not like the gloves. She's giving leg for days. I mean, come on out with the leg. They got body. And maybe Ashley and her should have did an athletic wear online together. That would have made more sense. Um, um, uh. I'm leaving it at a two. In my opinion, you're up. Okay, so this picture does this dress no justice. Actually, in movement, this dress is amazing. It's a satin-like lace material. It's really pretty, and it's not as much body showing as Ashley. As Ashley. Um, it's it's giving enough of a leg that you say, ooh, without a whole lot of pocket. I think she, I think she slayed with this one. I'll give it an eight. Okay, where do I find the ones in movement? But I'll try to look while you are you can well, send, that's it, not fair I send it to you. Okay, send it to me. Then you'd have to show everyone else's dress in movement then. Okay, but um, but go ahead, go ahead, Savannah. I'm gonna pull it back up. I'm just gonna pull up her Instagram picture. I'll, I'm gonna agree. I think the, this picture doesn't do it any justice in the prop. I don't understand. We get yeah. it. Here. You I guess what she sayings now that that's what the prop is about. I mean, yeah. when I see a little, I cool think it's like Diana Ross, y'all. Ain't they doing that photo thing? Look like the Diana Ross. No, it's not because the the photo with the Diana Ross, it it it, it looks awful. It is horrible. What they and did Diana to, would never wear this. No, no, and what they did in the photo shoot to Diana Ross was just they owe Diana Ross an apology. Um. I, it, it was that that photo shoot that they did was no that was ridiculous um I, I like this i saw another picture of the of this dress on on candace and i do like this dress um but this picture here it doesn't do it any justice uh, i'm gonna give it a, a seven i do like this dress but i would get rid of the gloves i hate the gloves uh, but the i do gloves like this horrible yeah, i don't even like the two points sticking up there I think I'm sticking with my score, even though I'm seeing this closer. Yeah, I'm sticking with my score. Uh huh. Thank you, Savannah. Sebastian, your thoughts? What was your score again, Diva? A two slash three. I sent it to your email, Diva. Okay, thank you. The thing is, I've seen the actual dress as well. I have, and the gesture I, I don't like the prop in this this is supposed to be a, a reunion look you don't need to have a prop um the shoes look i don't like the shoes at all um i don't see what color nails i don't yeah yeah too she has new nails my point still stands a two i hear you thank you sebastian i appreciate you um emmanuel you're up so Candace, honestly, she's one of the prettiest girls I've ever seen. She has become so pretty the last like two years. She just keeps getting more gorgeous. I actually loved this. I loved the hair. I loved the dress. I loved the prop because she's uh, she sings or whatever. And I think she was trying to give like 1930s lounge singer. I really, really liked it. So I'm going to give this a nine. Oh, okay. Yeah, I really come on, Emmanuel. She, 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 she did it. Like honestly, she looks like the star of the show. Oh, okay. 
Okay. okay. Um, Shan, you're up. What's seven plus one? Eight. She ate. This is gorgeous, stunning. I'm just like, wow. This is beautiful. Like Emmanuel said, she looks like the star. Like, I love everything. And this is not because I love Candace. I'm being really unbiased right now. Uh, this is absolutely beautiful. And we're not going to compare to that trailer, like, garbage thing. That, that, mm -mm, mm -mm. Not, not her, the dress, the dress. The two dresses are different. Look at the gloves, the pose. Mm -hmm. And people don't understand the mic. She is a singer. Mm -hmm. Sings, honey. When they go low, she hit high notes. Do we uh -oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. Like, I love it. The only thing I don't like, like Sebastian said, I don't like the shoes. I hate the shoes. So because of the shoes, I'm going to minus a point. This is a nine. This is giving goddess. This is giving smooth skin. This is giving gorgeous fashion. I love the hair, the color of the hair. The mic, everything is stunning. It's giving icon, right? Icon, yes, yes, cuz. Now exactly. y'all need to calm down. Icon, <laughs> no, like, oh, she yes, did. icon, legend, the moment. Oh my god, yes, oh, she okay. is the grand dame, indeed. Yes, uh, thank you, Shan. Um, Tay Tay, you're up. up. Am I am I right? Yeah, Tay Tay, you're up. Yep, I'll get. I just, I still, I still don't like the gloves either, mm -hmm. but I'll get the dress like an 8.5. And I don't like those shoes either. And I don't I'm like okay, the hair okay. either. I don't like the hair. I really don't. But this dress right here, it reminds me of the Green Reaper uh, girlfriend of the Billy and the man, uh, Billy and Mandy adventure, the cartoon one. That's what the dress look, remind me of. God, not the Grand Reaper. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Yeah, it's true. Thank you, Tay. Wait, wait. What was the score? What was the overall score? I say eight point five. I mean, well, she made an eight point five. Mm. Okay, Katrina, you're up. I must be losing my mind tonight. Um, Candace, you know you're my girl. Mm -hmm. But this is, I mean, uh, this look right here, I know y'all saying with the props and all that, but I don't see it. Why, Katrina. I, I'm, I'm being you, real. Katrina. I'm actually being real. Because, you know, I don't go up for, the, for Giselle. And you know what, Candace, my girl, I go up for her, but I'm sorry, I don't like this look. Unless it's moving or something. It, I mean, y'all saying she posing whatsoever, but I, I, I can't give it. I mean, I want to give it, but I can't. I don't want to lie. Uh, oh, give it to her for the legs. I have to do a five. I have to do a five. I do a five because you know the legs <laughs> and all that. Uh, I would do a five, and I, I hate saying that five because her legs look like they stuck together like a doll leg that you have to prank apart. I love Candace, but I don't like this look, Candace. I love you, though, girl. I love you, but this not given. I have to give it a five. I'm sorry. That's the pageant pose. You don't know a pageant pose? I know. That is not a pageant, I know pose. pageant pose. I know about fashion pose. I know about all that. I'm yeah, that's a pageant pose. I listen, I understand that, but what I'm saying, what I'm seeing, I just don't like this look. And you know, I love Candace, I just don't like it. And I'm not finna say I do. I have to give oh, her a five. I'm sorry, y'all. Give her a five. E, you're I'm wrong. Sorry. Don't be sorry. You, that's how you feel. Feel how you feel. You're wrong. Yeah, you're wrong. E, what, what's up, E? Be honest. E. Um, I think that Candace and Ashley both went to Charlotte Roos and got their dress. Come on now, E. Um, <sighs> the part Candace oh, got sure. right. Oh, e. No, I don't like it. Um, the part that Candace got right, even though I, other people said they did not like the shoes, I actually prefer the straps across the feet. I do think that part she got right. Um, 
uh, her feet look cute, but the polish color was too close to her skin tone that I didn't like. I didn't mind the lace train because it was modest and it wasn't as thick as Ashley. So I do think Candace gets credit for the train. My favorite part of the look, although I know some of you don't like it, are the horns. I think that horn corset look is very in, is very uh, modern. That's that's what we're wearing nowadays. And I love that. I, I, I just love the horns, but I hate the lace gloves is giving very clear as an icing. I tell you, my baby has a pair right now if I go in her room when we play our karaoke on the weekends. I hate those gloves. Uh, the wig length and style, I did not mind, but the color is what I hated. I hate that auburn color on her, and I would have preferred this unit mm -hmm. in a jet classic black look. Um, as for the prop, um, and the pose is giving very American bandstand or soul train, I guess. Um, if you're telling me she is an icon, then she must be announcing the prices right. And she must be moving around that circle because I, I, I don't get it. This is not, this is not a singing competition. This is not American Idol. This is the housewives. And yes, when they go low, I hit high notes, but that's not true either because you go to hell. So um, if I want to, talk about the things I like. I don't mind the train. I like the horns. Um, I'm going to give Ashley, I'm going to give her the same thing we gave uh, Giselle. I'll give her a 5.5. I appreciate you. Thank you, E. Um, Leo, you're up. Um, my main complaint with the dress is the hair. Mm -hmm. I do not like this hair. I don't, I don't like the wig. I, I, it's too much. It is a uh, bulky at the root. It's not um, flowy. It's not giving. It's not. It's not a good lace front. It's just. It is not matching her petite stature. I think the the hair is a bit too much. I don't like the gloves. But overall, her split is at a point at the top and not an oval like Ashley's. But I will say the dresses are very similar mm -hmm. to me. They're very similar to me. Um, so I'm not just a fan of the, the sheer bottom and the corset. I don't know what kind of look that is. I think she also has the thing that points down in the crotch because I still see a little bit of her hip on the other side. I give it a, I, I give it a six. I give it a six. I think she works it better than Ashley worked it. For sure. So I'm gonna yeah. give it a six. I'm gonna give it a six. I can rock with it. I rock mm -hmm. with it, but you know, it ain't my fave. She can do better. She has done better in the past. Yes, she has. Yes, she has. So thank you. Let me see if I could um before I go to the next person. Let's see if I could um play this movement video for y'all. Let me see if I have it. If I pull okay, I did. Let's see. Play the music, y'all. She even that that dress is horrible. Show Candace, me the two. Candace's okay? dress looks even worse in this video, yeah. in my opinion. <laughs> it, it looks like lingerie. Mm. Whew. All right. Let's uh let's go back. Hold on one second. Let me share again. Let's move back to the next person. So see you later, Candace. We got Robin Dixon. Taking off the screen. I know it's tragic. It's tragic. Who came up with these things where your outfit has several different personalities? I, I don't know. 
It's like it's pants, it's tights, it's a dress. It got one side in, one side out. It's a hot mess. It's a hot mess. She got the bob. This is not good. And who is built in pants? So shoe, uh-uh, not shoes, but built in pants. This is horrific. They said the shoes got built in pants. This is the worst outfit I've seen. Shirley Gordon did her hair. This bob doesn't go with the dress. The dress and the in the and the hair is personality is not matching. You got two persons, you got 17 things going on with this dress. You got a shoulder on one side, you got no shoulder. This is a hot mess. This was an epic fail. And her stylist were Maria Williams and Angelique Michelle. I wouldn't hire them to do nothing for me. Not even dress my dog for his birthday party or nothing. This is horrible. Let me see. What'd she say? My look has a little edge. It's a little different. Robin told Bravo.tv.com backstage of her style that indeed featured a unique element, which it is um, draped fabric exposing black spandex pant boots underneath. I was just trying to find something to not make black basic and boring, but edgy. Well, you failed. And black is classic, honey. It can never be boring. So what do I get, Robin? I'm going to give her one because she showed up. And if Juan comes to the reunion, he's actually there, I will up her score afterwards to a two just because he showed up. I'm done with Robin. In my opinion, your thoughts? This outfit was the worst of the worst. It made mm -hmm. her bigger. It yes. aged her. Yes. I love the bob. The long bob is cute on her. But this mm -hmm. outfit, it was doing too much. The, the 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 sparkles on the hip and on the one side of the you know the cuff of the brick. I, it was too much. And them tights was ill fitted. Okay. It was ill fitted. It was tacky. I gave her a zero. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't mad at you in my opinion. Uh-huh. Savannah, you're up. I'm just trying to figure out if if the these stylists are mad at Robin too. Um, <laughs> if the makeup artists are upset with her as well. If Andy just got a hold of everyone, is I mean, this was a disaster from head to toe. I agree. I like the the long bob on her, but this this is just tragic and sad. I'm going to be nice and give her a one, but Robin is a beautiful woman, and I just I don't know if she just wanted to be comfortable or if just people are just mad at her and and just not making any effort to to style her whatsoever because um, she has a great body, a, a beautiful face, but. Um, I think she's either lazy or they just don't want to style her. But I'll, I'll just give her a one because it's this is absolutely tragic. 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 Absolutely tragic. Emmanuel, you up? And she got some more pictures on her Instagram. I'm going to swap screens while you're um, speaking, Emmanuel. Oh, wait, did I? Um, Sebastian, Sebastian. Sebastian. Sebastian, you're up. You know, I say this a lot. Robin has a golden ratio face. If you really look at her, you can clearly see, like, if you were to cut Robin's face in half, you could invert the face to the other side completely, and it would look the same. Robin has a golden ratio face. She's a very beautiful woman. This dress, this, uh, I don't know what this is, because it's one minute's a dress, one minute's just um, a pantsuit. So this outfit, we're going to call it that, this outfit is horrible and it's not like robin has worn beautiful dresses beautiful outfits before her. this outfit is horrible absolutely horrible and she gets a zero yeah she gets a zero this this outfit's horrible oh it's disgusting come on Savannah, we finally agree 
Uh, um, now where am I at? Em Emmanuel, you're up. Um, <laughs> look, we all got different opinions. I actually like this a lot because let me tell you why. Oh my god! So her tagline this season is "I just took a DNA test." And it turns out I 100% don't care. I think that she carried that message onto this outfit. She kind of wanted to come in there like, listen, I'm here. I don't care. I'm just going to do my thing and dip. So I appreciate it. I'm usually not a fan of pants and reunions. I like dresses more. Um, but I liked it. It was given like um, Catwoman, Dominatrix kind of style. Um, I like it. I really do. I think it, it, I think it was good and I think she looks good. Um, the jewelry's nice. Shoe built in pants. I've never heard of that. So that's interesting. So that adds a point. Uniqueness. That's an important factor. The origami thing, like the, the, the fact that the two sides are weird, that's unique. I'm going to go ahead and give this a seven. <laughs> Oh my! <gasps> I'm not even kidding. I'm, I promise. We we need to we you a seven. Mm -hmm. Somebody um, check on the man away. Somebody I, check on me. I, I, I really appreciated it when she was sitting down. A seven. Yeah. I mean, we added twenty pounds to that girl. Look at that. Yeah, she looked like she's big as a house. It looked better sitting down. Yeah, look, look at her sitting down. Look at that. With like the it's, little cape. That whole thing it. is a hot mess. It's a hot mess, but um, you're standing by it. So Shan, you're up. Listen, cuz Emmanuel. At some point you gotta care because hell no. What is this? I get the whole I don't care attitude, but I hope the girl cares a little bit and never cares a little bit enough to never wear this again, burn it, throw it outside. Listen, if I put this on at the reunion and this is what I got to walk out on the stage with, I'm sorry, I'm not coming. I'll take whatever, you know, punishment or whatever. I'm not going. This is horrible. I'm with, in my opinion, this is a whole big fat zero. It's a zero because what is going on? It's confusion. Very. It's tragic, like Diva said earlier. Tragic. And what did E say earlier? It it does a score or something. So I'm gonna steal that. This does not score. It's a zero. Horrible. Horrible. Tay Tay, you're up. I'll get this dress. Out. Mine is three hundred thousand right here. Because this is bad right here. They talk that somebody um passed me a scissor to cut that uh wait um uh, you know the trailblaze right there. I'm talking about at the end right there. Someone uh -huh. pass me a scissor, please. Cut it off. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tate. I appreciate you. Um, Katrina, you're up. Yeah, I think it would have been better if she didn't have that cape on it and just been the pantsuit or whatever that kind of suit is. But this outfit is just like her marriage, a mess. <laughs> um, the only way I'm giving her a two because of her hair and makeup. But the rest of this stuff, I don't know what she was thinking or who was thinking. Maybe she had three people designing her at one time because I see a corset, I see pants, I see a cape. I see a, 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 a strap. I, I, I don't know what I see, but maybe she, oh God. Um, I, I, I give her two, only because of the makeup and the hair, because everything else is a hot tail mess, just like her marriage. Girl, get it together. That's get it. it together. Thank you, E. So um, I, I, I think it was Emmanuel. Someone said the, uh, they never, Maybe it wasn't Emmanuel. Oh my gosh, I can't remember who said it. Someone said they never saw the shoes built into the pants before. Uh, but this I is, said. Who said that? I did. 
Who's that? Ew, Emmanuel, hey. So uh, it's, this style has actually been out for a while where the shoes are built into the pants and it's actually on trend. Uh, it's very Catwoman. Like you said, I believe Emmanuel said that or maybe that was Sebastian. A yeah. lot of celebrities are wearing that look. And the problem with this look is, in my opinion, what Katrina just said, it, it's the cape of it and the lack of shape wear underneath to snatch in her waist and smooth it all out. Because in every picture I've seen, this look is always kind of, and maybe that's the way that they wanted the waistline to look, but I think it's absolutely horrible. If Robin removed the cape and it, it just taking that bottom part off and it just would have been the bare legs, um, this would have been a cute jumpsuit kind of look. And she could have saved this look. The makeup was perfect. The black nails, which I am becoming more of a fan of, I think that looks super glam and edgy, which is the look that she was going for. Her jewelry and accessories were perfect, too simple, not overstated, not gaudy. I love the sleekness of the bottom material. And this could have been very much vampire glam, even with those crazy conflicting patterns across the bosom. The only way her bob would have worked, though, is if both sides of the top of her dress were horns, because that would have gave it some some symmetry. Oh, um, yes. The, the patch on the right side of her dress, though, is giving uh, prom and is so not needed because uh, it, 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 it's just it's two different age groups here. So because Robin didn't call me and implement my suggestions, who the hell am I? Uh, I have to score it as is. And I'm going to get this look a solid four just for the nails, accessories, Bob, and uh, the half a horn that she had. Uh, but this could have easily been so much better uh, had we just taken some things away. Sometimes less is more. Yes. They got to edit. None of them, none, all of these reunions, there's so many edits that were needed. And, and especially Dr. Jackie at the reunion with fishnet stockings on. I was like, girl, that just messed up the whole, just they got to edit, they got to edit. And these stylists are getting the F. They better call Fantasia stylists because that man is doing the darn thing. He got her roaming the streets looking like a whole fashion model. This was an epic fail. And but not everybody. Huh? I'm sorry. No, you could go ahead. Real quick. Not everybody's Rihanna. Like, Rihanna is the only person on the earth who could wear anything and look stunning. Do you notice that? No matter what. Everybody just don't have it, you know? If Rihanna wore this, it would have looked great. Because that's Rihanna. She's a fashion queen. But this, no. Yeah. yeah, Handy B, I gotta. I'm waiting. Roy is gonna give me some lessons. I don't know how to zoom in. I'm so sorry. I apologize, Leo. It's very I simple. You know, you just you know you just hold on to the command. I think you have a MacBook or a Mac. Yeah, I do. I have hold a Mac. on. You hold on to the <laughs> command button, and then you hold on to it, and then with the other hand, you take your you take the mouse and you scroll <laughs> forward. Very simple. Come on, uh, Diva. He just tried to read you. He when he said, he always very does. I don't pay him no yeah, he did. <laughs> Go ahead, a man will, a man will leave Diva low. She tried her best, okay? Yes, I gotta wait for for uh, um, Roy to give me a lesson on Zoom. Leo, you're up. I feel like this is an epitome of. Robin's masculine energy. Mm. When I say she had to agree to this monstrosity. She did. She had to agree to it. She felt like this was her. Oh, go ahead on Diva. I see a little zoom. No. <laughs> she had to agree to this mess. I think it gives in to Robin's masculine energy. Mm. She wanted to wear the pants. She wanted to have the irregular angles. She wanted to have it confusing. She, I, I think she got what she wanted out of it, even though it's not appealing to us other folks. Um, I don't, I'm, I'm about like uh, E, I don't know who said this, but she said her, I think uh, Sebastian said that, you know, her, um, tagline was she don't care and it shows yeah he gave in to her masculine energy now she would have took away the cake 
if she would have had both sides even on the bulls with the with the embellishment took away the embellishment on the hip she probably could have rocked something with that right and, and playing at the bottom perhaps but it's just too much going on um i'm not upset with the boob the makeup was gorgeous you know robin is a beautiful woman she just doesn't give into the beauty of a beautiful woman most of the time she's giving off her masculine energy and she's a tall girl too so yeah that's what i think it is she she went in for her, her masculine energy <laughs> you know i'm crazy diva oh my god <laughs> what did what score did you get for and and she also gives me, you know what the um the bullfighters do when they had a little cake thing. Yes. It, 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 yes. Yeah, it's giving that as well. So I will uh -huh. give it. I will so so because she let her set, she let her um what Prince say she let her um stallions run free. I'm gonna give her a four. All right, there you go. She got a four. All right, not doing too well there, Robin. But um, you know. We wish you well, but so far, you know, is it, a lot of the looks are a little bit tragic. I know what it is. She giving the matador. She giving the matador yes. energy. Yes. And then she's not even posing right. Come on now, get somebody to help you pose and take that picture right. No, she's I giving a sex bob, up power ranger. I I will say this. I think the bob could have been trimmed a little bit shorter just to give her let's see the since her shoulders are out let's see a little bit of shoulder action um i don't know i think i think it's her face too diva it's how she held her face with it yeah doesn't really it give side, the the side a little bit yeah yeah it's not and, and there's about three reunions that she gave us the bob look that's true one of them had the bobby pins in it i mean we need her stylist to up with the game and it has some ripples and some different colors yeah, in it. Yeah. yeah the last five reunions it it's was been bob, bob. Uh -huh. come on robin we, 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 i cannot now, now come on shut the building down shut it down she ate come on she, couture she ate. that couture right there shut it down the hair, the face, the pose. How you got the grand dame who's triple twenties showing these girls how to do it? With the DUI, girl, you better give. <laughs> Come on now, she giving leg. No, she listen. She tore this down. She tore this down. This right here, hands down, it's a ten. It's a ten. Come on, Rhonda. She got the short hair. She got the earrings to match. Whoever did Karen's look, they get it. Jewelry is shoes is YSL. Jewelry is YSL. The makeup is Tatiana Ward. The hair is Stephen Thomas. Inspiration by a powerfully elegant modern woman. Well, come on, y'all shut it down. Bravo. Bravo. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Bravo. I say it's even that. the pose. Even the pose. How she doing it better than the younger ladies? Triple 20s. Come on, Karen. I'm headed your way, Karen. I'm headed there. Yes, I am. Come on now. In my opinion, what you giving the grand dame? Oh, this definitely a 10. Let me tell you something about Miss Karen Hugo, okay? She mm -hmm. came in with the short hair, made it look like she was sitting on a statue, okay? Man amazing i loved it i love how she steps outside the box in the most amazing way this dress eight okay i love it raheem 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 you might are you behind the raheem? Is well <laughs> raheem tell me you're not talking you're not you didn't give cameron a two that was for robin come on now it's the grand dame it's the pose it's the hair it's everything sebastian i mean i'm sorry savannah you're up karen hot rod huger understood the assignment that right there the legs the body the hair the pose head to toe 
10, 10, 10, 10. I love it. I mean, triple 20, Karen is carrying it. I love it. Absolutely. 10. Come on now. Sebastian, you're up. <sighs> this is such a beautiful, beautiful look. Um, short hair does Karen very well. I think she should wear short hair more often. Mm -hmm. or, yeah, um, short hair does her very well. Um, the earrings, everything, the pose, the shoes, the slit, perfect. All of this is perfect. The dress is completely 100% perfect in my opinion. And that's why she gets a 10. Come on now, holla, holla. Even though, even though she got a DUI and I don't like people who get DUI, she got a 10 because she didn't get a DUI during the reunion. There you go, boom. Emmanuel, you're up. Um, don't play Emmanuel. Okay, here's the thing mm -hmm. I like her hair and I like yeah. her face. Mm -hmm. The dress is confusing to me. Oh my gosh, I don't know how. Ever since the looks came out, I keep trying to figure it out, but I can't seem to. That gray thing, I don't know how I feel about that. Ugh. Listen, because it's not instantly telling me it's amazing, I'm going to have to give this a five. Oh, my God. Because it's not a zero, but it's definitely not a ten for me. So, well, Manuel, this is confusing, but Robin's outfit was not? No, I liked Robin's. I, I, and I feel like it made sense for her. But mm -hmm. this, I, maybe the, 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 gray, the top gray part is a little too high. Um, I don't know. I don't really like the shape of that. Mm hmm. I like that, Emmanuel. Um, Shan, you're up. You know, I don't like the material of the gray. Mm hmm. Honestly. Mm hmm. But the way she's posing, she Come looks on like now. a work of art in a museum. Oh, there you go. Speak now, Shan. Speak. <laughs> I love the I love the dress design. But I don't like the material. Like if you zoom in on it, like it's like oh, rough. I don't know how to explain. Don't start with that zoom now. Oh, I'm okay. sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just saying. Like, like a tree, right? Time, but like I like the leg, the hair. Like listen, Karen is eating up the girls. Okay, she's eating. Yes, her she is. face is stunning. The hair is stunning. The pose, she's glowing. Yeah, yes, she this is a ten. But I, I don't love the dress itself, but the whole look as a whole, I love the whole look together and how she wears it. Because I feel like she's wearing this dress and mm -hmm. other girls, the dress, the dress is wearing is um, Come on now, Shan. Now you got to talk the talk. So you gave her what? Period. I'm going to give her a 10. There you go. Boom. I appreciate you. Now, Tay Tay, you're up. I don't like the top either. Because well, it's on, not look good. What? I don't like it at all. This this is not like good for her. I mean, look at the top. It's so, you know, all the way to the top right there. I just is don't like material? it. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, I I like the hair. I like the hair. It's good on her. But I'll just get this um. Uh, uh, what do you call the dress by like 5.1? That's all. Thank you. Um, e, you're up. Sorry, could not get to the mute button. This is what I came to talk about. Uh, I understand some people don't understand what they are looking at um and sometimes when people look at a mona lisa and they don't know you know that can kind of be embarrassing this is a work of art Come on that was karen hands down shout mm -hmm. out to ysl uh, yes that was the difference between uh giselle being in versace and karen being in ysl it's none of this all of this matchy stuff okay it's it's a statement piece like we've been hearing people say over and over who have come before me. The metallic and black corset in the middle, the shortcuts, the bare neck, arms and wrists. It was chef's kiss. 
The skin was giving moisturize. Hair was giving glam. Nails were perfection. The dress was giving grand dame and runway. Like in my opinion said, it was giving statue. The waist was snatched in. Arms and skin was on point. Karen didn't need to wear gloves. Because she was moisturized. This is how you wear bare shoulders. While Ashley and Candace came out in a bodysuit with the lace swim cover-up, and Giselle and Robin were wearing bodycon, Karen came out like artwork. It's a statement piece. I heard someone say she looks like a tree. Yes, the tree of life. It's called the Ooh. money tree. Mm. 60 where? AJ nothing but a number. Because Karen came in and ate all those young hoes. Oh, excuse me. She ate them all up, Diva. <laughs> so if... If I had to give any critique, I only wish she would have chosen a less silver shoe and less platform, but we have to call a thing a thing. I mean, we, we have to speak facts. Karen looks like old money. Karen looks good. And so if I have to give it a score, I'm giving tens, tens, tens across the board. Come on, my sister. Choo -choo. Choo choo, bravo, bravo, Absolutely. yes. Tens. Yes, yes. Come on now. Yes, E, yes. Come on. Leo, you're up. You know, it's hard to come behind my sister E, but I'm going to elaborate. Mm -hmm. I love the glamour of the hair, I love the upfront sweep. You know how it's up, it's, it's, it's swept up in the front. And then comes over. I love how she did her pose, her lips. She came through. I love the design of the dress. I do understand couture when I see it. Woo! I do know when I see good ish. Mm -hmm. And this here is good ish. Yes. This is how she posed it. Mm -hmm. She understood the assignment. Oh, I yeah. also agree. She came through. She she put her body in that dress and owned it. Mm. You can see that. You could tell that she knew she stepped into her own when she put on that dress. It was fitted to her. And look, the only critique I will give is I do not like bows on shoes. There's a bow on the shoe, and I do I do not like that. That's the only thing I can say that I would have done different with this particular outfit if I was a stylist. No bow on the shoe. Please stop doing that. I don't like that. But other than that, girl, 10, 10, 10, you showed up and showed out, Miss Grandom. You earned your name, bye. You Come on, Leo. Choo, choo. Nah, choo, choo, choo. Choo choo choo. Uh, uh, Diva. Your eyes. Look at her eyes. That's your eyes, right? This is a Tyra. Choo -choo, Banks. This is a Tyra Banks next top model pose. It was. Absolutely. They called it. They said and pose, and, 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 and she said boom, boom. She knew she it. She, she knew it. it. She did it, and that was one. Take. This is why we watched. Take. To this see was the one fashions. Take. She said, what y'all need? What y'all need? I'm ready. This was one take. And them other girls, uh, uh, Robin looked so insecure, head tilted to the side. To be quite honest with you, Robin's picture, you could tell she didn't really like her outfit either. This is saying, I love my outfit. I'm ready. I know I did the darn thing. And give me the chair next to Andy, where I belong. Ooh, she got legs and hips and body. <laughs> yaddy, yaddy. <laughs> Come on now. The young girl yeah. showed the leg, and so did Karen. This yes, should be one of the fashion books. You see the point? At, it's not too much. Yeah, There's a little point to it. I love it. I love it. Grand you know the fashion coffee table books? She should be in one of those. Yes, yeah, she should. This is giving. That's giving. That's giving. And this should be studied. studied. I oh, love her posture. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. She's and can I say, before girl. you before yes, you move on, uh -huh. somebody in the comments said, uh, Karen doesn't have a waist. The dress is looking kind of frumpy. No, that is the art of the color blocking because the way that the silver goes in like an inverted triangle is giving waist, even though there's black material on the side. See, it's about the angles and it's about the artwork of the dress. You look at it so many different ways. Sometimes you don't know what you're looking at. Bam, it's grand dame. See, you didn't even know it. This is waist. funny. 
This is triple 20s at its finest. It don't get better than this. It don't get better than this. Um, Katrina, you're up. Okay. Karen is giving old Hollywood vote glam. She's doing the Hollywood thing. She's doing the old Hollywood. And I love the dress. I don't like the how tired how high it is at the top, but it's giving. It's giving. Mm -hmm. Um the skin is immaculate. The pose is immaculate. She she looks amazing. That leg, okay, girlfriend. Um, that look, like I said, she got that bold pose. I have to give it to the girl. The girl got a 10 for me. Come on now. Come she got on. a 10. I gotta give her a 10. I can't lie on her. I gotta give her a 10. She did the damn thing. I mean the darn thing on this one. She got this it. She got it. Yeah. L listen, listen. Come on now, Faye. Face beat to the gods. Face beat to the gods, and you see it. The face is coming through. And also, people don't always give their best look when they grinning for the camera. Some people give their best look with their mouth closed, and somebody taught her that. Like, look, you ain't got the. You can do a smile. You don't have to do a smile. Come on, this is Tyra Banks. Next time, I will smile. Give it to them with your eyes, honey. And Karen is giving it. She's giving it. Yes, yes. Come on. Even the knee looks like not ashy and all that. No, she looks good. She slayed. She slayed. She, slayed. she tore this thing down. She I, ate I, all the girls up. Ate yeah, them up. And the trainer's been working that inner thigh. So yeah, she looks she she looks good. We need that she trainer's name. Mm -hmm. You know, you come on down. Not come the on down. Thing. <laughs> you ain't lying for I need that trainer. I Ain't no look. underarm, you know, skin hanging too. See that? Yeah, no, she looks good. She looks good. Okay, let's go on. Neca. Neca. <laughs> Interesting. I think what they got to do is they got to stop having the hair down with some of these dresses, right? Um... It's not bad. It's not bad. I think the hair but it's should not been, good either. Yeah, I think the hair should have been different. Um so NECA, I'ma keep it neutral and give NECA a a oh I give NECA a five. I'll give NECA a five and I'm just gonna leave it at that. I ain't gonna drag it out. I give NECA a five. Uh in my opinion, what you got for NECA? Her hair was giving Kitty. Um, yeah. Her face basic. The dress is not interesting enough. I, I give it a four. Yeah, I hear you, my opinion. Um, Emmanuel, what are you giving, NECA? And don't be biased. Do you like NECA? <laughs> I think it's Savannah. Oh, it's my party, Savannah. Yes, go, Savannah. Okay, um, I, I'm for being her first reunion, and because she did better than Sweet Tea on her first reunion, I'm gonna give her a five. I, I think behind behind her hair is that a collar? It looks like it's a collar that goes around her neck. Yeah, yeah. that's that's a collar, right? Uh huh. I. I just expected more from NECA. I hate that it's short on one side, long on the other. It's just uneven, this style for me. I don't know what that is. So I'm, I'm just going to give her a five because she did better than Sweet Tea for being her first uh, reunion. Um, but I hate the hair. So a five. Yeah. Nothing special. And then she got gloves on too. It, or is it henna? I'm trying to figure out if it's a I feel like it's henna. I feel like I it's, think henna. it's henna. Is that henna? Oh god. Okay, yeah. it's still a five. Yeah, fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's not. I think she definitely needed another hairstyle. I feel like that's that high school, uh uh grade school type of hairstyle with the bangs out. Her face is not bad. The dress is not horrible. This swoop side is better. I I that Done trying to do all these different creations in one dress. It doesn't always work. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, 
Okay, where, where am I? Who am I? Sebastian. At? Go ahead, Sebastian. You know, I'm going to look at a lot of things in consideration. It was her first season. Yeah. First reunion. Uh-huh. Um, it was a very tough season for her. Mm-hmm. A lot of people, the viewers were saying she's disrespecting the Nigerian culture and a whole bunch of stuff like that. But, you know, she's actually supporting a Nigerian designer. So um, I'm going to look at this this way. The hair could have been a little bit better. Mm-hmm. Um, she's a pretty girl. Her face is completely fine to me. She doesn't have to do any other thing in her makeup and everything. She's, she's gorgeous. Right. Um, um, the dress is kind of um, the collar I don't really like. But, like, the dress looks nice to me if it, it would have been a little better. So I'm going to give her a six. A six. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. It, it's, it's confusing, but it's not a bad confusion. It's understandable. Yeah. Unlike- the other dresses. Right, right. Yeah. Emmanuel? Okay, so very true. This is her first season. Mm-hmm. For some reason, if you look at all the women who, they're like the reunion looks on their first season, they almost never get it quite right. I think that's interesting. But that's what, you know, that's what, that's why we are going to see better next season and then the season after that. So um, I didn't mind it. I wasn't thrilled. Um, I didn't think it was horrible. It wasn't confusing like the last one we saw. Um, I like that her husband in the reunion, he was wearing like that Nigerian cap. Did y'all catch that in the trailer? Mm-hmm. Um, I actually saw Her Majesty Phaedra Parks wear something similar to this not too long ago for an Oscars event. And I liked it. I, I think I'm gonna give this a five. Yeah, yeah. Cause it's not it's not horrible. It's yeah. Shan, you're up. Okay. It's her first season, yada yada yada. There's no excuse. You know Amen, what? Shan. Huh? No, it's not. It's not her Praise last. the Lord. Her last, yes. And it's her last. <laughs> no, it's not. I bet you a hundred dollars. I believe in my opinion. But listen, there's no excuses. You know why? There's a gajillion housewives who come before you. There's Instagram, YouTube, magazines. I don't care about the first season, whatever, whatever, whatever. No excuses. I hate this look. (sighs) She should have put more time into her fashions and less time into using uh, Wendy for a storyline, allegedly. Biased. No, I'm not being biased. Her look is... What can I give her? I'm going to give her one because she has a beautiful smile. Yeah, one for the smile. Listen, the girls need to call Karen up and take advice from her when it comes to fashion and fashion only. A one. I appreciate you. Whoa. Uh, That's rough. Uh, Tay Tay, you're up. Am I right? Yeah, Tay Tay. I'll just get this dress by two right there. Mm. That's all. Thank you, Tay Tay. E, you're up. So, uh, Aneka, aka the Grand Dame Reject, oh uh, I just want to know how do you let Giselle crown you as the new Grand Dame? And then you get seated at the end of the couch. And then you look like this. Um, It looks like Aneka was going to the same church function as Giselle. I do like the red nails. I know that's classic. And and if that's the look you're going for. But I wish she would have done a red lip instead. The Mm -hmm. illusion mesh in the middle was unnecessary, if you ask me. And the collar was giving Maleficent. I hated the arms on both sides of the dress and especially the hand with that material covering her fingers. Uh, It looks so immature and cheap. Uh, The hair is very churchy and prom-like. However, this is the housewives. Uh, However, from the pictures we saw, the only one who came dressed like a housewife was Karen. Aneka's dress is giving very Dillard's and Macy's and the best part about the look is Aneka's face. Her face is gorgeous and perfectly symmetrical. I don't mind that little train that she has. I think it's very modest and it's appropriate. I'm going to give this a 3.5, but my recommendation 
should we see this person in the future is to stop accepting titles you cannot carry yet. Oh my God. Amen. Drops mic. Whoa, whoa, Leo, you're up. I'm with E. Stop accepting titles that you can't carry. I don't. The hair is also giving high school prom. Mm -hmm. I think her, but I'm going to give her a four because her makeup is matching her skin. And many times throughout the season, her makeup was just doing dusty. It wasn't, yeah. it wasn't TV ready. And perhaps for the reunion, she got her makeup and the people right to get her ready for the reunion. The dress itself, the the, the um, opposite symmetrics on both sides did her no favors. It, oh, it, oh. If you're going to come in new, come in sharp. Not necessarily edgy or um, trying to be different because you ain't got that type of leverage just yet. If it would have been similar on both sides without the collar and maybe a dip down to the stomach, perhaps, you know, and not the little lace glove on the side, perhaps. If she would have made, made it a little bit more symmetric, it would have been plain and it would have been um, not edgy and not trying to make a statement. But at least we could have said, OK, you know, she did all right. Now I got to give her a four because it's just not, um, it ain't ready for prime time. Mm. All right. Well, NECA, you heard it. Um, yeah, NECA, we'll move on. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Katrina. I forgot you down there. I'll put it back up on the screen. Go ahead. Oh, you good. You good. It's giving, I don't know if it's winter. I don't know if it's spring. And oh he's coming looking like Elvira. Um, the thing of it is that uh, I don't know who, what y'all seeing. It looked like somebody took a razor blade and went up the middle of that dress. And like I said, she don't know if it's summer. She don't know if it's, I mean, she don't know if it's winter or she don't know if it's spring. Um, yeah, I give her makeup. Her makeup look okay this time. Like uh, Leo said, she don't look like she went to the funeral parlor this time. Um, I have to give her a two because she don't know if she coming from winter or spring and somebody took a razor blade and went up the middle of that dress. And that's all I got to say. And that hair is looking like, um, uh, when I had my hair back in seventh grade, when I was getting ready to go to my little, uh, that little fellowship thing. So no, she'll get a two. That's it. Thank you. Appreciate you. All right. That was NECA. Um, let's move on from NECA. We got Dr. Wendy Osefo. Oh, God. I'm going to try because y'all know how y'all get. Y'all think I just be trying to hate. If I start with the hair. And Wendy, she actually slayed the fashion during the season. Um... This is a no for me. The hair looks like it's some type of wet look. Everybody's doing these peaked tops there. I don't like it. I think this looks like velour. Then it's the white going in the back. Then it's the gloves. Um, this is a no for me. And I'm going to give it, I'm going to go pull up other pictures of it to see if I'll change my mind later. But right now it's a no. Um, I'm trying, yeah, it's too much. Okay, I, okay, okay. I thought it was just me. Uh, some of y'all liking it. I'm going to try to stay neutral. She shouldn't have, she could have done without the heavy jewelry that messed it up for me. Yeah, the jewelry is not matching the dress. It's just too much. I, I, oh, oh, I'm going to give it a three and I'm standing by my three. In my opinion, oh, you're my right. God. You gave that a th man, stop. Okay. I do like Wendy's look. I do. Um, I do think the necklace is a little gaudy, but I look at that peak of white and then that white train just sits it off for me. I really do like this look. 
I would have went a little smaller on the necklace. That necklace is way too gaudy for this dress. It makes it go busy real quick. But I do like this dress. I don't I don't know why she put the gloves on with it, but I like the I like I love the dress. That white train is amazing. So I am gonna give Wendy a 8.5. Oh, that was nice of you. Hold on, let me bring it back up. The hair is looking wet to me. The necklace is too much. And maybe the necklace would have been okay if this white train wasn't on it. Everybody with the gloves, I can't do it. I, I don't know. I just... It looks even worse. Oh, my God. Whoa, oh, my God. Oh, she looks stunning sitting. Oh, my God. She looks stunning sitting Oh, you guys, no, that's that. tragic. That is no, amazing. Face. I love you. <laughs> that night is pretty. No, that look at her face. Yes. Teach that, me how to do my makeup, Wendy. No, the, her face without that hair, that wet look hair, dude, is, her, her makeup is nice. This dress sitting down is tragic. It looks cheap. The white is horrific. The gloves yeah, is Yeah, you're gold. right. I was just looking at her face. Then she got the ring on top of the gloves. Mm. This is just, come on, people. Edit, 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 edit. This is horrible. The hair is not wet, though. It's sleek, and it's yeah, just shiny. Yeah, but it looks like a wet look. It's horrible. Um, Where am I at? Who did, did I go to you, Sebastian? I think you got to go to You got to go to Savannah. Oh, Savannah, Savannah, you're up. Well, Diva, I'm not going to be nice. I I hate it. I hate the material. I wish that white would have been black instead. I don't like Ali. Yes, ever this. You're breaking up, Savannah. I, I'm sorry. Okay, you can sound, you hear you me? Sound a little bit. Yes, yes. Okay. Um. I, I hate it. I wish the white was all black instead. Um, I hate that chunky necklace. It just does nothing. Um, she should have went with a more elegant pearl necklace, something. I, I hate the wet look of the hair. Um, I agree a, a three is appropriate for her. Her makeup is is gorgeous. I love her face. And Wendy's a, a beautiful woman. Um, but it's the dress is too low. I think she's way, showing way too much boobage. Uh, when she sits down, it's just way too low for for it to be considered classy. And um, I, I'm done with the gloves. I don't understand what the all this glove. I, I don't get it. Um, I'm gonna give it a three. It's it's not a good look on her. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it either. So uh, uh, let's see who did the glove um, necklace. Dallas did her hair. He gets an F. The person that did her makeup um, definitely gets a 10. And the stylist, Chanel Welch, she gets an F, a total F. So we're giving art gallery. We're giving art museum. We're giving chic. We are giving very classic. Wendy play, playfully exclaimed to BarbelTV.com about her eye popping style. The professor has arrived. Has arrived for what, though? She would say that. Yeah, wouldn't she? Sebastian, you're up. Oh. Uh, not flip four for her four degrees. I could not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Sebastian, you're up. Oh, my God. Okay, okay. So this dress is... You know, if you never showed the sitting down picture, it my 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 vote would have completely been a different thing. But that sitting, that picture sitting down made it even worse. This dress is not the dress is beautiful. Mm -hmm. It'd be more beautiful without the gloves and the whole cape train. Is that a cape or a train? That's where I'm losing it for me. I don't know if it's a cape or a train. Um, without that, just the gloves. Without the gloves. Without the necklace. The hair in an updo, she would have looked perfect, but I don't. Mm -mm, mm -mm, it's not. It's not good. It's not good for me at all. Mm -mm. And the white doesn't match with this dress here. Even though white and black complement each other, it just completely. It, it doesn't match in this case. It's, I think it's probably because of the necklace. You um, are correct. 
it's probably because of the necklace. And uh-huh. the necklace is just a little, it's huge. Like, you just see Wendy's two eyes, and then you just see that necklace, and you see three more in, in, in between. And that looks like five eyes to me. Oh, no. No. Mm-mm. No. It's too much. She, she, she gets a two. She gets a two. And that's generous. Um, thank you, Sebastian. Um, Shan, you're up. You know what? I was disappointed because because of the looks Wendy gives on the show. I just knew she would kill it at the reunion. Like I was excited to see her look the most. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I hate this, and I hate velvet. Velvet is like the worst material. Like no, Ugh. I'm with you, Diva. This is a three, and I hate to say that. Because y'all know I like Wendy sometimes. But yeah, based on the makeup, her face, I'm going to give it a three. But like Sebastian said, black and white goes together. But this like complements each other. But the white popping out from side to side. (sighs) It's a three. I hate the necklace too. Too much. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, sitting, no. sitting down is tragic. She should have asked him because she stand up the whole reunion. And she's been best that- dressed on the season. Like she dresses really nice. Oh, yeah. so I don't know what this was. It was an epic fail. Epic uh, fail. Is that I a agree. bong on the side? Huh? A, a is red that a bong on the side? A bong? <laughs> is she smoking? <laughs> <laughs> Take take uh uh take take your up. This is gonna be like uh Twilight Eclipse the um uh, those three guys that who sit in the um the throne. This would remind me of right here because she can do without the um the necklace, the uh the gloves and uh. I uh, in the hair too, but I like that makeup on her too. That's why it give me uh, this way it give me a uh, Twilight Eclipse. That's why it give me from Diva. Yeah, ah, uh, she had and she had another this dress was custom. Mm. Yep. Tragic. Oh let, oh, let me get her score real quick. I'll yeah. give it a two point one. There you go. Boom. Thank you, Tay Tay. E, you're up. So, Diva, Diva, can you look at Increase Mather's comments right there, please? Let me see. Let me see. No, the previous one. <laughs> wait. Okay, wait. Uh uh-uh, uh. Uh uh. <laughs> oh my God. I cannot. Okay. We are more like a costume. Yes. Go ahead, E. Um, I I just think that these ladies make Nigeria look bad. The two African ladies missed the assignment, and it was very disappointing. Uh, for the four one nine, I think that Wendy, uh, look nice for the season because she was getting outfits that celebrities had already won, uh, mm-hmm. worn already. So mm-hmm. it's not like she was bringing anything new. She was just wearing things that the Instagram thoughts were wearing. Okay. Uh, but contrary to the other opinions, I am personally a fan of black and white. Wendy's black dress with the black gloves and the white shawl would have been very classic and beautiful. I do think that Wendy had the best gloves between her, Candace, and Ashley, even though I'm not a fan of gloves. I just think she messed it all up by putting that ring over it. And the shawl was a different material. I could have done without that white train unless the dress was solid white and it was a different material. That's the only way that that white sheet would have worked um, because that white train doesn't match the velour. And that grandma necklace that she pulled from Susan's shrine was very distracting from her bust line and neck. Uh, It's giving very Benzino. Uh, I do believe those two items ruined this look completely. Yes. Um, If I remove that necklace and that train, I do think that the dress and the gloves could look luxurious, classic, and regal. But, Diva, I do agree with you. I hated that wig. 
um, that hairstyle was inappropriate for that style of dress. And it was given very Beyonce drunken love. Her makeup was too dark. And so for everybody saying her face and makeup is so nice, I don't know what the hell you're looking at. That face was not good. Um, and it, is... Let me stop. Uh, yeah, I, I <laughs> look at... It, the 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 contouring the shadows at the bottom doesn't match the bus it, well, from the picture diva just uh, no I, no no uh, no 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 uh take that white thing off and i think the black thing would have been very simple like giselle um i don't like anything about that look i thought i liked the black and white but when you showed the picture sitting down uh i'm giving i'm putting this with ashley this is too low to score i think She's giving Catholic mistress by the white shawl and then stripper by the black velour. I can't, I can't, I can't compute this. Yeah, it, 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 it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's tragic. Um, Katrina, you're up. <clears throat> um, I don't know what my faves are doing to me tonight, but, uh, she look like her arm is stuck in those, you know, them tubes that go on the, um, you know, the septic tank, the little things to be in the tubes in the mm -hmm. bathroom. It look like her arms are stuck through them. I, Wendy, girl, now you know you slay at the reunions. What you doing? That necklace is awful. The dress is, like if she would just went plain with just the dress and the gloves, got rid of those two cylinders on the side of her arms and got rid of that necklace. I wish she would have had her hair like in a, um, not in a bob, but in her sleek way, the way she'd always have it done. Cause she always slay when she comes to the um, reunion. But baby girl, you didn't get it this time and I'm mad. I'm gonna have to give you because, the, well, you say the makeup didn't look good, but the makeup looks pretty good to me on this one. So for her makeup and whatsoever, I'm going to have to give her a four because everything else. And like I said, if she would got rid of those cylinders, that, that cape, whatever that thing is on her dress, it would have been better because she always slight. But I'm going to have to give my girl a four. Thank you. Thank you, um, Katrina. Emmanuel, you're up. Okay, so I don't like this woman. But I do acknowledge that all season she slayed it with her outfit. <laughs> she really did, like, every time she walked in. Even though I don't like her, um, her personality. Last season, I thought she did a great job. Remember when she was wearing that ostrich feather? I thought that was giving, like, straight out the wrong way. But this, very disappointed. Um, the hair looks like she put glue on it the white and black do not complement each other it's giving like penguin i don't like the necklace at all um so it's kind of sad that she wore this in her last reunion so i'm gonna go ahead and give this a three yeah choo choo, choo, -choo. yeah <laughs> I, it, and it just has that wet and wavy look it just they did too much and these are you know what and these are stylists that are getting paid <laughs> This is sad. I'd be like, give me, give me a refund. You could have given this to a fashion yeah. institute, a technology student. Damn. <laughs> I got a part. And I'm it's giving wrong. Go ahead. It's giving little Kim goes to church. Go ahead. <laughs> I was about to say I might be wrong, but I do think she was trying to go to like give some sort of Catholic aesthetic because that's what she mm. was trying to paint all season. But no. Fail. Yeah, Catholic with your boob out. You're right, Emmanuel. It doesn't match. Mm, yeah, it just yeah it it was an epic fail. It was an epic fail. All right, so that was Doctor Wendy Osefo. There goes me at Thornton. Oh my, Mia. Is a, Mia is another one. She's beautiful, nice skin. Um, hair pulled back. Um, I like the pose. I got to get a picture with her standing up before I really judge, judge. Um, let me see if Mia put it on her Instagram. Because I'm not, I'm not, um, 
quite sure yet how I feel overall. Let me see if I can get a better picture. All right, we got some more pictures. Let me see. That's a pose, though, right there. So when it comes to poems, yeah, yeah, Brittany, I agree with you. Enough, if nothing else, very artistic. Yeah, she's got a classic look. Yeah, I'm, 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 I can roll with y'all with that. Let me, let me, um, let me go to her Instagram here, and let me see how I feel. She another one. She, she did the pose. She did the darn thing with the pose. But um, she got a lot of boobs, and it seemed like they didn't situate situate her boobs in there nicely. But I'm gonna tell you this: she's giving face. Her face is beat to the gods. The hairstyle is correct because it's not distracting from the dress. I like the all black nails. She's giving us leg like some of the other ladies. Um. The dress is, is different. Okay, I'm liking that. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. All right, she know how to get face. She better go ahead and get this Tyra Banks pose. All right, so how do I feel overall? All right, I'm, I'm, I'm neutral, but I'm coming up because she's giving us face. She's giving us face. So I'm, I'm gonna do a seven. I'm gonna do a seven. Yeah, I'm gonna do a seven. In my opinion, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I'm my liking thoughts, it. I'm ready to. Is, I hated it. I oh. hated this look. I felt like it looked cheap and ill fitted. And I'll give it a three. Oh my god! All right, okay. She's giving us face though, but okay. I hear you, Savannah. You're up. I am going to agree with, in my opinion, um, this looks like she got it on sale at Adam and Eve. Um, her breast didn't even fit in this. I guess this is a bow top kind of yes. thing. I don't know. Um, it, it, she struggled to stay in the dress. Mm -hmm. um, it, um, it was, it was awful. Mia was too big for this dress. It, just, I, I hated it. I absolutely hated this dress. Um, her face from the chin up, uh, abs you know, was nice, but everything else, um, I did not agree with it. So I'm going to give it a two. Ooh, y'all getting rough on me. All right. Now, um, Sebastian, what you got? Um, I think this about this dress, actually, um, if the, it, it, her breasts look like they're like being like, compressed against yeah. they don't look like they're breathing um i feel as if if it was more calm and it it, it where they were able to fit and the dress would stand still this dress could actually almost got could have gotten a 10 from me but with the face and everything i can see where you're coming from diva and and like and the fact that we've seen multiple of the pictures and stuff i'm gonna give this dress a, a seven a seven yeah She's giving a face. She gives. She got a nice hair, dude. Yeah, she's giving skin. Um, yeah. Um, Even though I don't Shan, like her. Yeah, Shan, you up? So I clicked. I saw this picture and I clicked on the designer, and it looks like the designer designed Doctor Heavenly dress too, like uh -huh. dressed by uh, brides by Noah. Uh -huh. And they made some beautiful dresses. I was looking at their Instagram. I absolutely love this look. I love and you. You know what's funny? You see, this is how I know I'm not being biased because I don't like me at all. Right. <laughs> but I love the smoky eye, the hair slipped back. It looks like a bow that's on the front that's slanted. I love the peekaboo skin. I love the high slit. Listen, her boobs don't need to breathe, okay? She looks amazing. This is giving... Hmm. I was going to say a 10, but... I clear strippers. And with they so lie. steak and shrimp, don't do that. They so steak and shrimp. What what do you yeah. give it here? She look like she had it back there too, Diva. She, then she said they wear gowns. This the gown they wear. I love this look. I love it. It's and you gorgeous. Give, you're giving she it a what? I was surprised. I'm gonna give this a 
I can't give me a 10 because, you know. <laughs> Let me stop. Look at her face. The makeup. The hair. The pose. The pose. The B. Okay, I'm going to give her a 9. This is a 9. I love the black nails, the pointy. She looks good. Yes. And classy on. for once. Yes, yes. Uh, Tay Tay? I like the makeup on her, but I wear in my pants in Savannah. I don't like this dress, so I get like about three, part one. Mm -mm. Thank you, Tay Tay. <laughs> in your own. Diva, go Diva. Mm -hmm. So forget what you heard. They are positioning Mia to be second in command. Uh, Mia was the only one brave enough to wear a ponytail. Mm -hmm. The earrings were perfect. The black nails were perfect. The makeup, perfect. Like Shan just said, she the wasn't dresses, the only one with a ponytail. Who else had a ponytail? Kiana had a ponytail. Oh, she, 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 made the she, she doesn't count. She doesn't. Count. That was treacherous. Yeah, she's. Uh, well, I, I, I haven't seen her, but um, like Shan said, this dress, wanna. this dress is on trend. This is how the girls in their twenties with implants dress, and it's no shade to the girls with implants. I love a nice set of implants, but the reality is, you don't spend money on the breast augmentation and then keep your breast covered up. I definitely see why Karen and Mia both got first chair because they both look the best. Um, I like the shoe. I like the thigh out. It's very modest compared to um, Ashley and Candace. Um, I love that the way that the material is draped over the midsection because Mia's not a size two. She's not a skinny girl. She's a big girl. She's kind of healthy. She has some meat on her bones. And I, I do, I like the material. I don't have a problem with the boobs. I can understand why some people can say that the dress is a size too small. Uh, but again, that's on trend and some people can pull it off. Uh, some people like Dr. Heavenly, maybe not so much, uh, but I, I think her, her makeup and her accessories are excellent with the exception of that bracelet. Uh, I don't really care for that too tough, but the nails are exquisite. I have to give this look at eight, eight point five. Okay. Boom. Boom. -y. Thank you. I appreciate you. Um, Katrina, you're up. Um, thing I want to know, is she going to the reunion or is she going to bed? Um, <laughs> The dress would have looked better on Candace because Candace ain't got that full breast thing going on, like her breast going to pop out. Um, the dress is cute, but I think it would have looked better on somebody else. Mia face is cute. Her makeup is done. Her, I mean, that's cute. We don't see that uh, skin that looked like it been rubbed against the street. So that's good. Um, let's see. Yeah, the bracelet need to go. She needed a a, a a bigger top. Um, the dress it's it's sort of cute, but I wish it was on somebody else. Um, the thighs given. The arms is okay. The skin below the uh the face is okay. Um, I give her four. All right. Thank you, Katrina. I like her make the makeup is looking good. So I give her the makeup, the pose. She's slaying it. Yeah. All right. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. Let's see. Let me go back to the other screen and um let's see who's next. And can I say I was a fashion designer in my previous life? Choo choo. Choo choo me and you both. <laughs> yes, honey. Yes, yes. Come on. I like and I like the sitting pose. I think I think she's doing it. And she know how to give a pose. You better shout out to Tyra Banks and Smizing. Come on now, Mia. Give it to the people. All right? Okay, so that was everybody, y'all. So wait, I Diva, Diva. I, wait I, did I, you I see uh, Wendy's friend? Diva. Wait, I sent you to your something? email, It Diva. was tragic. <laughs> I know, she was tragic. Wait, let me show Kiana, and then we're going to go, who is, who, did, did I get, is this it? Um... She she was an epic fail. Epic fail. She should have stayed home with that. 
not the dress with the tights and that he the head do oh my god i, I can't even mm. look at it anymore. it's tragic that is tragic and she the, but the worst part is when it's tragic and you think you did it yeah she she's thinking she ate that yeah look at that one the third button is falling over and need to be tightened up girl tragic tragic now who, who wanted to say something to me what was you oh say? i just wanted to rate mia's look um Oh, did I skip you? Yeah. Um, oh, no, let's go this... back. Oh, come on. Rate this look. Uh-huh. Okay. So, this look, honestly, chef's kiss. Mm-hmm. I thought it looked amazing. And um, I actually think that nobody in that cast could have pulled that dress the way Mia did. Because she's a very attractive, voluptuous woman. Um I thought it was giving like the grand mistress, which kind of goes, you know, in touch with her personality. And I like that she didn't like ruin it with unnecessary, unnecessary necklaces or anything. So I'm gonna give this a nine. Yeah, you, you, you know what? You done said the darn thing. She didn't over accessorize mm -hmm. like most of them did. You are correct. She did not. She didn't over accessorize. Because her skin and her body and her hair and her face is the accessory. Come on, Emmanuel. Do that thing. So, Emmanuel, let me go back up here. Oh, wait. Can I talk about you show Kiana? Can I say one thing? Sure you can. Uh, that look was giving hoes R us. It was very... I did not like that at all. I just had it to say tragic. that. It was tragic. Who is our number one look? Okay. Emmanuel's doing the averages, so he knows. Yeah. Rondo. One second. Give him a minute now. Okay, I'm gonna Absolutely. I'm gonna start from the bottom and then go to the top. Okay. So on last Robin. place, th this is crazy. Last place was a tie with a 2.3. Ashley Darby got a 2.3. And Robin Dixon got a 2.3. Well deserved. So, so they tied for last place. Yeah, that's who should be in last place. I, okay. Yeah. So they're both on seventh place. Okay. Going up to sixth place, we got Wendy Osifo with a 3.3. .3. Okay, let me go back to Wendy. Hold on one second. Wendy got a 3.3. .3. She thinks she ate that, but she got a 3.3. <laughs> <laughs> go and ahead. In fifth place, we got Neka Ahim with a 3.8 average. There go Neka fifth. Come on now. Okay, moving up the scale now. Fourth place was for Mia Thornton. Okay, which way? Oh, Mia. 5.6. Y'all did Mia dirty. Just so y'all know, y'all did Mia dirty. Mia now, done. Let's, let's go to the top three. The kids is, dirty. Is, uh -huh. The top three is interesting. And top in the third place overall, we got Candace Dillard Bassett with oh, an me, average of a six. Let me go. Okay, Candace got a six because that he is tragic. All it right, now the top two. Uh -huh. Second place with only one point difference, Giselle Bryant. Y'all wrong for that. I know you lying. <laughs> Giselle over Mia? Eight out of ten. That's what the average is. Mm. And then yes. going one, going top out of all of them, number one, Karen Huger with a nine. Ooh, exactly. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. The Queens of R.H.O.P. The, the Grand Dom has won. Okay? And <laughs> rightfully so. Come on, bravo. Bravo for the grand dame. Bravo. She deserved that. Now, listen. Thank you, Emmanuel, for keeping tabs there. Okay. Who do y'all think won this thing? For us on the panel here, it was the grand dame. Now, I'm, I'm in overtime, but I'm going to go through this really quickly because we got to unfortunately talk about the grand dame. Yeah, she um had a little accident. I don't know if you could really call it little because at first when they first, you know, every time you, you listen a little bit more, more information comes out about Karen in this accident and none of it is good. 
And by the way, guys, I'm trying to see where did I put my um, article. By the way, guys, I, I think this is sad, but CNN is trying to say that the princess is lying about her diagnosis of, of cancer. I mean, that was so messy and so. They messy. had a doctor up there, right? Yeah, they I mean, that. that surprised me. It, it that was messy. That's messy. I don't see anybody lying about that. That's all. I'm gonna leave it like that. I thought she that looks was like she lost weight. If you see, she looks like she's like completely like not frail, but like but she not lost weight. She lost weight. Okay, let's get into this real quick. The grand dame. Let me x out of here. So it has been noted that Karen Hughes Maserati caught on fire during her DUI crash. Firefighters pulled the Real Housewives of Potomac star from her car. And she trying to act like nothing really happened. Now, we love you, Grand Dame, but this is messy. Karen's car crash was worse than we initially thought because her pricey Maserati caught on fire and she was pulled out of the vehicle after slamming into a tree. The incident report obtained by RadarOnline.com stated a fire initiated un under the Real Housewives of Potomac Star luxury ride, forcing firefighters to use an extinguisher at the scene. Mm. Radar Online broke the story. Karen was arrested by the Montgomery County Police Department earlier this week when she refused a breathalyzer test after losing control of her 2017 Maserati crossing a medium, hitting several traffic signs, and smashing into a tree. The Bravo Levity was eventually released from custody, but now the incident report is shedding new light on just how bad the crash was. <laughs> Crews located a single vehicle collision, white sedan off the right side of the, of the roadway. Community um, security officer on scene, the report read, the emergency personnel secured the vehicle and assisted Karen out of the car before putting out a small fire. Crews extinguished a small fire under the vehicle with a water um, extinguisher, the report stated. We confirmed that the police and fire res um, responded to the crash scene on Tuesday at 11.50 p.m. The Grand Dame of Potomac was taken into, co into custody after refusing to, bl um, to blow and was later cited for driving under the influence. We can state that her driver's license was also suspended. Now she was driving on a suspended license. <sighs> Photos of the aftermath after a crash with residents in the area telling us that Karen could have killed someone had she come barreling through the neighborhood's crosswalks hours earlier. Child, the Real Housewives of Potomac Star broke her silence about the incident, claiming she was emotional when she got behind the wheel after having dinner with a girlfriend, but she failed to take accountability for her DUI. Thank you all for the prayers and well wishes that this very frightening experience. I'm still in shock from last night's incident, but grateful to be alive today. With the passing of my beloved mother, grief comes and goes in waves. And with Mother's Day approaching, it felt like uh, more. It felt more like a tsunami. She told um, TMZ, "Girl, we got a whole uh, a month and some change before Mother's Day. You need to stop, Karen." Karen went on to explain, last night I met a girlfriend for dinner and we talked and brought up some very emotionally sensitive topics. I was crying on my way home and saw a car heading right for me. I swerved to avoid the head-on collision, hit the divider and then a tree. I'm hurt, bruised up a bit, but grateful that I'm alive. I, I did receive um, citations, one of which was unrelated to the incident, which is understandable. But what was most surprising is that the car that almost hit me just drove away. Just so she got drama and dramatics. I would like to stress it's important to understand your emotional state when driving. And maybe this may this be a reminder to all to use their seatbelt. My mother may be my guardian angel, but that seatbelt saved my life. She ended. Cameron's court date is set, is court date is set for a later date. That's the grand dame. In my opinion, 60 seconds, because we ain't playing with her tonight. No drinking and driving. Boom. Boom. Savannah.
it upsets me that that she fails to take accountability um and the next if she comes back next season which i don't see why not these women are going to drill her um and and really ride this storyline um but they're i don't think that they're going to take this seriously dui um multiple duis um is is not only are you putting your life in danger but so many other innocent lives in danger and i saw that sharice um, commented or made some comments also on social media. And um, I just I just hate that they don't take something so serious that they, they just do it for clicks and views and drama. Um, and, and Karen, you have so many um, supporters and so many, um, uh, such a great following and, um, and you can afford to have a driver and make better choices. And I, I hate that you're not taking full accountability of your bad choices. Yeah. Ooh. You, you, ooh. But Sharice, Sharice is the one that talked about her um, having to go to rehab, wasn't she? She said was, she was a drunk, remember last season? Yeah, she did say that. That yeah. she was the drunk of Potomac and all that stuff. Good God. All right. Um, right. And then go ahead. Go ahead, Savannah. Next. Go ahead, Savannah. Right. Oh. I seen that she also made some comments under her post um, that she just did now. Those comments that she just made about her incident, Sharice made some some additional comments that oh that the public doesn't know half of what Karen does or some other crap. So it's just it's just nothing but drama. Mm, this is going to be messy. Um, before you, before we uh, come to you, Tay Tay, let me just show this real quick. Sharice's um son is absolutely handsome. That's Sharice's son. Diva, don't be Andrea now. Oh no, 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 no! Don't do that! Don't do that! Don't do that! Uh, uh. No, I'm not gonna be no Dre. I'm just saying now. <laughs> I was trying to look for her comments on Karen. Um, Tay Tay, you're up. Oh, I say that was a good looking son right there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, you had to stop the sign and look both ways with your seatbelt right there. Well, why she can't call the uh, cab to pick her up or she hire a limo, you know, to drive her right there. Yeah. There's like plenty. There's like a plenty of people who can drive you uh, to the bar to go home right there, or she should stay home. You know what I mean? Yeah. By the way, Diva, it could have hurt somebody. Yep. Thank God nobody was on the street right there because that's gonna be a terrible, terrible accident right there. Right there. Oh, I said you uh, thank you for the feature right there. I love that feature right there. <laughs> ah, come on now, come on now. You're welcome, Tay Tay. Shan, you up? Karen, you know better. Or mm. you should know better. But that's y'all's grand dom. Uh, don't Listen. do that. Jake, <laughs> I'm looking at your face, <laughs> The people's grand dom. No, but drinking and driving is very serious, as we all know. And like Tay Tay said, why you couldn't take a cab? Like, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. You could hurt yourself or someone else. Thank God she's okay. Mm -hmm. Thank God nobody got hurt. And drinking and driving is very serious. Yeah. Take a cab. It's not worth it. Sleep over. There's so many other options than getting in your car under the influence. Right, the, the, the uh, Uber, Lyft, come on now. You got mad options these days. You yes. are correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sebastian, you're up. I officially am no longer Karen Huger fan. She's lost all my love and everything. I personally, at a very young age, I almost was hit by a drunk driver, actually. Yes, I was walking from school, and then I was crossing the main street, the street. I was crossing the street, and then I just saw, I had headphones in, and I had I saw a car that was just like, down the road, swerving all over the place, couldn't even ma maintain in one lane. And then I ran 
as fast as I could. And then I did make it to the other side of the street, thank God. Mm-hmm. But in a, in, a, in a matter of seconds, I could have been hit and, and I wouldn't have made it. I don't have sympathy for DUIs, DWIs, DUIs, whatever. If you, I don't care what you're under. There is no excuse at all, especially in this day and age. There are taxis. You could have pulled out your phone. You have. You can get Uber. You. You. If you have money, and I think there's even this type of new company called Sober Driving or something, where it will literally send someone to drive your car to with you, put you in the passenger seat. And bring you to your house. Wow. So I'm honestly, I'm, I have no, I have no sympathy at all for Karen. This behavior is completely disgusting. Mm-hmm. And you know what? Giselle, drag her. That's it. I don't even like Giselle, but Giselle, you better drag her to the living hell N- next season. Everyone should drag Karen because this is completely unacceptable. The amount of people, it's unacceptable. Go to rehab. Um. Because you clearly probably do have a problem. Sharice is probably telling the truth. Karen probably does have a problem. Because there's no absolute reason as to why you could have just taken a, taken your phone and found an Uber or a Lyft. This is too much. I forgot what the company is called, but I, 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 it's something that has to do with sober or something. Yeah. Well, that's a that's a nice thing. Yeah, I have to look that up. I don't drink, but you know that's. It was on the Real Houses of Miami. Larsa oh, Pippen said it. Oh, okay. Yes, they said it on the Real Houses of Miami. I have to find it. Okay, find it. That's good information. E, you're up. Well, Diva, I have to be honest. I don't even know what you're talking about. Uh, this doesn't sound like Karen to me. A suspended license, please. I mean, she's the grand dame. She doesn't need a license. I mean, and if she, and if it was suspended, she has the money and resources to get it taken care of. Uh, plus, I, the the suspicious thing to me, we need to know who was that driver that almost struck Karen in a head-on collision. Uh, sounds like that person was wrecking havoc, sir or madam. Uh, whoever you are, if you are listening to this live or replay, please come forward and make this right. I hope Karen hires you as uh, her lawyer. Yeah, excuse me. (laughs) I I just find this to be highly unusual, and I just need more information. I believe her when she said that she had to swerve out of the way to avoid a head-on collision. That's the only thing that would make sense. And And not the person kept driving. Yeah, that, that I can totally see that. I, you know, I'm from Atlanta. It happens every day. People cause all kinds of havoc and then keep driving. You know, I, the more and more I think about it, the more I think Sharice is behind this. I need to know where Sharice was that night. Where was her car? Where, what does her GPS say? Or Wendy and her family. I think their name is written all over this. It's crazy how folks can be so easily deceived by magic. But I'm going to leave it at that because if I told y'all what I think really happened, it would be above y'all's pay grade. So in the words of Katrina, I'm done. And thank you, E. Emmanuel? Listen, I think this is very serious. And I agree with Sebastian. I've always been a LADAM, whatever they're called, but I'm officially suspending my membership oh. because I cannot support her. I love Shannon B- Bador. I cannot support her anymore, especially Karen finding out this is not like a one-time incident. Like the TMZ article said that she had six traffic violations, including negligent and reckless driving, driving way over the speed limit and driving with a suspended registration. You keep telling us you're triple 20, but you've been driving triple 20, the speed limit. That's not okay. Um, This, like I said, very serious. She could have really hurt somebody. And I hope that they don't make light of this because I saw some of her fans telling her to make her next tagline. I am the influence. I don't drive it or something like that. They were giving her ideas already. So don't take this seriously. Like Sebastian said, Robin, Giselle, and Sharice, drag her drag her drag her drag her because i did a little research um just to see the statistics of drunk driving and each year there's around eleven thousand people who are unalived because of drunk driving so it's nothing nothing serious so i can't support this yeah i can't support it either we do not approve of this message thank you emmanuel i'm katrina you're up the only thing I want to know is if she was out having drinks with her friends, 
um, they didn't notice that they served her too much to drink. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. No, I'm saying mm, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I mean, they didn't know that she was over the limit because basically if you keep serving to somebody at a bar and you, that uh, bartender keeps serving them, they go out there and hit somebody. That person can, whoever that person get, they can sue that bar. Come so on, Katrina. I'm trying to figure out that why, I mean, if they knew for a fact that she had too much to drink and then plus Karen probably over drink because she ain't got way smaller than what her normal body size is. And sometimes when you drink like that, the alcohol takes control because you're not at the same body weight. Okay. Now, the thing that back. gets me is the thing that gets me is is um she normally have a driver. And why I don't understand why is you driving with suspended registration? They said they gave it to you because you moved and didn't tell them, but you didn't move out of the state. Even though I know Virginia, Maryland, all of them in the same, you know, the same area, but that don't cause for them to uh, suspend your registrations and your license because a lot of people don't go back down there and get their tag until that following year. So I don't understand that one either. Um, she said somebody was speeding towards her and she swerved over. Now, Karen, you swerved over like that how and you hit a tree you hit through some uh, some uh poles and all that i used to drive up in maryland so i mean i don't know karen you you uh, you got me on one end then you um you got me on another because like i said whoever served you those drinks should be here hell liable too because they should have known that you was over they over served you so the thing i don't want them to drag her because if she does have a drinking problem because i remember her telling monique when Monique wrecked her car, she told Monique, um, drinking and driving, she said, when you blow, you're going to blow away your future. Come on. I'm thinking What's like you should have advice for herself. Yeah, I'm thinking like you should have took that. Cause remember, she, but then she had, when she had a driver, everybody was uh, bashing her, saying she was sleeping with the driver or whatsoever. So Karen can't win either way because every time she does something, they said, you got a driver, you're sleeping with the driver and whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Even if I'm finna drink, if I was Karen, I would have just called the driver. Because like she told Monique, you're going to blow away your future. And that's what you're doing, Karen. If you do got a problem, she don't need to be dragged. And sometimes rehab is not the problem. I mean, not the solution. The reason why I say that, the ones that be in rehab, the only thing they're thinking about is when I'm going to get my next fix when I get up out of here. They know they can't get it when they're there, so they might be on something else. But when they get that breakthrough to get out of there, it goes. So uh, the thing about addiction and all that, that's a, uh, you got to go to your higher power because that's a demon inside of you, and that demon wants to be fed. So the only thing I can say is I hope she get the help that she needs. Don't drink and drive, especially in Maryland. There's too much traffic. When I tell you there's a lot of traffic because it's got like three states in less than 20 minutes from each other. I just hope that she get the help that she needs and because you could have killed somebody and then you could have killed yourself so this sounds like you better a been glad. Todd set up you better you better been <laughs> you better be glad that something i mean that somebody was watching over you your holy spirit your garden angels they was protecting you karen and we love the grand Dom, so we just hope that she get the help that she needs and we hope that she gets a driver no matter what they say and let him do the job i'm done Thank you, Eve, for my. <laughs> and, I, and I just want to say, I'm, I'm in the chat. I'm sorry, Emmanuel. Jamie. Uh huh. Emmanuel, aren't there dram laws where um, restaurants and bars that serve or serve alcohol cannot be held responsible? Yes, but the thing is, do we know for sure she was at a bar? That part. She said she because was at the a. Grand she said she was out having dinner with a friend. So that either part. way, whoever serving her still should have realized that she's having too much to drink. Because like That's I said, she... even if you go to a bar and you sit at that bar, if that bartender serve you over than what you're supposed to drink, you go out and hit somebody, that person that you hit can come sue that 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 establishment where that person left from drinking too much. But we don't yep. know if she was drinking because no, she didn't take a breath of So DMV all we know she never falls was. under dram. So how, how did she... you get her with a DUI? Uh, it does, it even does. if she didn't listen, even if, let me tell you how it's it was. allegedly even listen, allegedly DUI. 
even if she left, she she listen, it. even if she left and didn't get a DU, if she didn't do a breathalyzing test, and if she got down into that uh that jail, they either gonna pull blood or they gonna oh uh, she gonna have to sign a paper that do that DUI or they are gonna say in court that she refused it and they gonna try to give her a harsher sentence. So when she got down into that police station, they either drew her blood or made her or uh, uh, talked her into doing that D, uh blowing that breathalyzer in order for people to see that she had a DUI. Because they can't just come out and say she had a DUI if she didn't have a DUI. Let's be real now. I'm yeah, just this saying. Is Karen, her you know second girl. one. You too old. So hold on one second, guys. Hold on one second, guys. Dustin, you're in the building, but I'm about to close out. How you doing? I'm okay. How are you doing, dude? I'm doing well. I want to say something right quickly. Yeah, wow. and people don't have to agree with it, but not, this is how I feel, and this is how I feel about this situation. I think that Karen Kruger should get a lot of help that she needs right now. And I also think that Bravo should help her. I think that Bravo should um, give her some help. And then if Bravo, uh, I don't see her, I don't know about her future with the show. I think that she might get um, let, go, let go because of this. And I hope she don't because I like Karen Kruger. But I think she needs to get some help, David. And I think she needs to take a hiatus and she needs to get some mental help. Yeah, I hope that she gets fit. I hope she gets better, but I just hope that she gets the help that she needs to get. And she does need help. She needs big time help. Listen, guys, I appreciate y'all for being here. Overtime is an understatement right now, but I'm in that. I'm in that <laughs> zone. Okay. So listen, guys, hit the like button if you didn't hit it coming in. Hit the like button going now. I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for being here. Happy Friday. Happy weekend. Have a good weekend. I'm going hanging out tomorrow, and I'll see y'all next time. Good night and goodbye, everybody.